Hello, and welcome to Critical Role, the game where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Uh, tonight, we, uh, we have uh, an interesting continuation of the story we'll be picking up here shortly. Um, first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves through a few announcements and some cool things you guys should know. So, uh, first and foremost, for returning fans and uh, people watch the show, thank you and welcome. And for people who is your first time live or your first time seeing the show, um, hopefully you're not too confused and welcome as well. Uh, so let's see, first and foremost, uh, for those who haven't seen it yet, we've been doing a, a Spotify playlists for each of the players and the characters. Uh, we just finished that whole sequence with mine that went up today. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, you can go ahead and check it out. I did a, a, a playlist based around many of the NPCs in the world of Exandria uh, that the that Vox and Machina have come across, and uh, it was a couple little tidbits about their characters, their backgrounds, and one song per uh, NPC that kind of rounds out their personality. So check it out if you're interested. Hopefully uh, you'll like it, and you also get an my taste in music too. Uh, a lot of classic rock. Both. <laughs> um, let's see. And uh, we had a new comic come up this week, didn't we? Had we had a new comic. New comic. New comic. <laughs> yes. Drink, drink, drink. Yes, based off of real <laughs> events that happened in, in real life and in game. Oh. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Who, who won that drinking contest in real life? Ashley. I was trying to remember. Ashley won. I think Ashley. Who lost that drinking contest, if I recall? Laura. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, lost, I lost so hard. Yes. Yeah. But the pictures is actually how you have to do it. So, but we just yeah. didn't yeah. post, you know, it's it's like the rules of alcohol commercials. Yeah. 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 I will say, Laura. As long Laura, as you're not actually physically drinking it, it's fine. Exactly. I will say, Laura, you, you plop down drunkenly very adorably. Push you. It's. <laughs> <laughs> what you're talking about. Uh, all right, cool. So, yeah, so, so go, go check out the comic, uh, you know, drawn by our, our wonderful artist Wendy. Uh, and it's this is all leading into uh, a retelling of the Winter's Crest Festival, the first one that Vox Machina had in the city of Western. So, uh, go check it out. Let's see. Uh, other updates. Uh, the my class update also went up uh, yesterday, and I uh, was actually just updated before the show tonight with a couple of fixes to some of the uh, some of the text and stuff. So if you already downloaded, go to the website and download the newest one. It's 1.2. Uh, but yeah, it's called the Blood Hunter. It's a retool of the Witch Hunter, kind of taking it away from the, the promotional aspect that it was tied to back in October. I was able to uh, retool it and make it something a little more wholly my own and my own unique design as opposed to being tied to the pre-existing IP. So uh, it's got some cool abilities, hope you like it. If you feel like running it in your game or allowing your players to do so, have fun. And it's uh, been, uh, it's got the seal of approval. Well, the seal of approval, I would say. I, I did manage to have some wonderful Perhaps. some wonderful feedback uh, from Mike Merles from uh, Dungeons & Dragons West of the Coast, who was very, very sweet enough to give me uh, notes and uh, ideas when I was going through the redesign process. So thank you tremendously, Mike, for that. And uh, Still, my first real homebrew class I've ever designed, and so it's far from perfect. And there's, you know, there'll be adjustments as time goes on, and play tests and balance things come through. So, uh, be gentle. But it should at least be fun. Be so. gentle. No, mm, please. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Marisha, you want to talk about superpower beatdown real fast? Uh, yeah, there was a new superpower beatdown that came out today, where we are challenging uh, Darth Maul versus Spider-Man. <laughs> Because why not? Right. Because it's Christmas. Because uh, it's, it's, it's Christmas. Because it's Christmas. Why not? A lot of red there. But you should check it out because we have a very fun cameo by someone who I don't want to spoil. <laughs> it's not me. It's not <laughs> Sam. No, it's really not. No, it's really not. <laughs> I don't know. But his name <laughs> might rhyme with Pan Me. Bang Me, the Vietnamese... Sandwich that you can get in many places? Uh, yes, it rhymes oh, with derp. bang me. Yeah. Bang no, me? it doesn't no. actually. You got Ang <laughs> Lee <laughs> to be in your short? Ang me! That's crazy. I'm really lost right Ban now. Me. I'm gen genuinely lost. The chat room gets it, oh. don't you? Bang me. That's me. His name, yeah. There's a cameo in there. He directed the Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> and the ice the not, storm? The not good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Now that cameo is being edited. Just saying. Out. You'll never work on broken. What is it? Mountain. Brokeback Mountain 2? Uh, that's a horrible joke. Just forget I said that. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's, no, <laughs> no. Backer, backer, no if, if, if the internet's been watching. That was funny. Terrible. If, if the internet's been paying attention, they'll know that I've, I've practically already been in Brokeback Mountain 2. Speaking um, of which, you're in a thing this week. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh. Um. <laughs> On, on Hulu, there's the new Rocket Jump series that went up, 
and uh, our dear friend uh, Ashley Birch, very talented girl, uh, wrote and directed a very awesome, really hilarious sketch that is a, uh, a loving parody of fan fiction on the internet, and uh, and you know fan cultures colliding. And I, I had the pleasure of, of briefly having a cameo as Loki in it. And uh, I'm not I'm not going to spoil the ending because uh, it's it's a whopper. <laughs> so it's a happy ending. It's a oh, it's, it's a very, very happy, happy ending. ending. It's multiple happy endings, all over. Um, so you can go check that out. And I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. You're welcome. <laughs> Depending on who I'm talking to. Uh, another quick awesome announcement. This is huge. Uh, Ashley, can you please wear headphones? A slight echo's coming through. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, I'll uh, help her do that. That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> uh, next week is our last episode before the holiday break. No, no, don't ever say that. We've already had that rumor go around, apparently. People are like, oh my god, is the show going to end forever? I'm like, no. As long as they'll let us do this, we're going to do it. Yeah. Or as long as Matt doesn't kill us. Or we get bored. Oh, we just reroll characters. It'll be fine. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Then we'll play riffs. It'll be good. <laughs> uh, no. No. Chose a lot of dice tonight. Um, yeah, so so n next week will be our last episode before the break. We'll be returning on January seventh, um, but in the meantime, you know, everyone will be enjoying time with their families and such. So families, enjoy your two week break as I know we will. Uh -huh. um, Camping. Also, we have once again just a reminder: we have our Christmas sweaters available on the. Uh, Wait, the oh, I'm Ooh. modeling one right now. It's so rest. Also available in green. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Ooh. The fabric is soft. It, it is. fits snugly and warmly, but not too warm. <laughs> I, 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 I think I would pay fifty dollars for a sweater. You, you just need to get a little necklace in there. I will say. You got your uh, poops right on it. Yeah, yep. it does. It, does it keeps poops. my poops nice poops and snug. <laughs> Got two pockets for two poops. <laughs> you, you, you can't be promotion like this, folks. Uh, uh, it doesn't help. So, so yeah, check out the Geek and Sunny uh, 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 website. They have all the awesome stuff up there, so you can get those last minute presents for your for your friends and family who, uh, hopefully, if they haven't seen the show, because then they're really confused what you got them. Yeah. Uh, let's Here, see. I got you something I like. <laughs> yeah, hey, works out well. Uh, it's the season of the Homer bowling ball. Yep. Uh, Rishi, you want to talk about uh, the Boonzi? Uh, oh, yes, yes, candles. yes, uh, the Boonzy Arts Candles. Oh, I meant to grab those. Yeah, what Whoops. are they? Um, the D&D-related candles that uh, I plugged back when we were doing the Slayer's Take episode. So yeah, they have a Kickstarter ago. that was up for that. Yes, uh, the Kickstarter, they are out now, and you can buy them on their website at boonzyarts.com. Dot com. Yes, and, I th and we have a set that we were going to be doing in a giveaway as well that she delivered that I, I'll find during break. There you go. It. Um, and we also, reminder, we have uh, Wormwood Gaming that does the really awesome, high quality uh, gamer guy stuff. What an excellent Christmas gift or Critmas gift Wormwood Gaming Box would be. Uh, if you use the code crit roll, crit roll, you you'll get free shipping, uh, and they're lovely and fancy, and they, they will make a nice, handsome and Christmas present. And they will poop in your box for the delivery. Nope. No, you have to request that. that. You have to request that. Yes. That was only you. <laughs> Sam will do that. That goes in the comments. I will do submit. that if you request. Oh um. man, I can't wait to get mine. <laughs> 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 Including the poo. <laughs> uh, Ashley, uh, we can see the the sparkle on your eyes is is making the camera. It's messing with the cameras. Can you also wear uh, something over your eyes? So uh, headphones <laughs> and also cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. I don't know. <laughs> no promises, you guys. Play some guitar. I Bring up guitar. Play a little guitar. There you go. Uh, a couple last things. Um, the Critter's Guide to Christmas, I believe, is going up next uh, tomorrow, isn't it? Tomorrow. Yeah. At 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh, what is that, Bridget? What is that? I yeah, like the Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> nope. Um, <laughs> but it'll be up that early. Yeah, we, uh, we're kind of... Now that we've had an awesome year of amazing Christmases, we're kind of, we've had a few ideas that the Critters actually gave us to kind of focus the idea the of Christmas a little bit. Plus, the, spirit, the spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas. On what it originally was, Jesus Crit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the holiday was always about. No. And now we're getting no. it back to Jesus Crit. <laughs> 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 
No? <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do anything about it. So tomorrow, that's the end of that. So tomorrow, you will uh, you'll be able to 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 read this completely yes. inaccurate description by Sam Regal of uh, Critter's Guide to Christmas. And last but not least, uh, if anybody has any announcements or any other projects coming up recently they want to mention, um, there's a Wii U game that just came out called Xenoblade Chronicles X, where I've always character named Lao that just came out recently. So if yeah. you're a fan of those uh, awesome RPGs, uh, I will be really kind of. Subdued and arrogant in your face. <laughs> Subdued and arrogant. Thank you do. We get that for free. In your face. Exactly. Every week. Um, anything else, guys? We good? We're good. Uh, yeah. All righty. Then let's get down to the nitty gritty. <sighs> do, 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 do. My body is not yeah. ready. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, of course. It's gotta be. It's gotta be, right? <laughs> the lights. <laughs> do, 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 do. Love it. All right, so <clears throat> to get you guys up to speed as fast as I can, it's a elaborate long arc. Um, the Briarwoods being a family that five years ago took over the city of Whitestone, where Percy hails from, murdered his family, and uh, he barely escaped with his life. Years later, came back into the fold of Vox Machina's uh, kind of existence, and it was decided to go ahead and to uh, hunt them down and save the city of Whitestone. Upon arriving, they began to stir a rebellion within the town uh, against this horrible, undead controlled menace by Lady Briarwood herself. Um, after this rebellion was incited, fires were burning, uh, individuals were killed that were responsible for keeping the people down, and just generally bad people all around were being uh, slaughtered by our intrepid adventurers. They made their way into Whitestone Castle, uh, where they had uh, uncovered some in information about the Ziggurat, a project in which the Briarwoods had been developing something beneath the city of Whitestone, and discovered that Percy's sister Cassandra, who was thought to be dead long ago, actually still survived and was being kept in the castle. Uh, she joined the party as you guys fought your way down underneath the city of Whitestone through a series of tunnels, uh, finding yourselves unintentionally locked within a trap, uh, a retooled version of what was previously uh, an, an acid distillery for the white stone that's actually mined from the surrounding mountains and thought left for dead by the Briarwoods themselves. Uh, in which Vax was charmed and taken along with them, and Cassandra showed herself. You were the one that got uh, us into the acid mess in the first place. Thank you for that. You don't think they would have done that? I don't know. Well, <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know since you've covered it. Acid sucks. Yeah, it's I never fun. want to encounter acid again. <laughs> Every time we do, it's bad. Unless you're in the been desert. a few times. It's always bad. Well, acid's bad in general. You know, it's not like oh, well, this acid's fine. Like, it's just <laughs> citric acid is pretty good. Yeah, pretty delicious. Yeah. Preserves apples. I stand corrected. <laughs> um, Could it be a citric acid trap? No, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Damn it! Unless it's part of the Winter's Press time. Festival. Awesome. Can we check for citric acid? <laughs> you can certainly try. <laughs> no, no, it's not acid resistance on your armor. It's citric acid uh, resistance. Uh, uh, works both get ways. Scurvy? <laughs> Very possible. Anyway, back to the story. Sorry. Um, Upon uh, facing the danger of this trap uh, and seeing Cassandra turn uh, red coat to them with the Briarwoods, uh, the party managed to think their way out of the trap before too much damage was taken and following the Briarwoods to the final chamber where the ziggurat was constructed, uh, where apparently there is some sort of ritual underway to some entity that they worship or work with, they refer to as the Whispered One. Um, upon following uh, the party, dividing up and falling up the sides of the ziggurat, they managed to catch an encounter the Briarwoods, a charmed Vax, and Cassandra before they could enter the actual ritual chamber. A battle commenced where, um, thanks to proper preparation, did not go all so poorly, um, and in the process, Silas Briarwood was destroyed through a combination of, uh, of Sunbeam via Keyleth and some Pike shield deflection. Very Jeez. Avengers moment. Um, just a hint <laughs> of phallic imagery. <laughs> Um, Silas's destruction sent Delilah into uh, a mournful wail, and she decided to try and complete the ritual herself, although it may or may not have been too soon to do so. Uh, Dimension her way into the ritual room in which you guys followed over the wall. She seemed to complete the ritual, uh, creating this small, vacuous, spinning black sphere that is locked in place. Um, Vex had nearly, uh, was nearly felled by a spell as she attempted to uh, fly in and uh, stop it. Uh, the party then rushed in to aid Vex. Percy took a shot that uh, intentionally did not finish Lady Briarwood, not only just taking off her right arm as she fell unconscious and bleeding out, 
Um, Vex, unconscious from the fall, and also in the, the cusp of dying, the party rushed in to help her, realized that seemingly the vicinity around this orb had cut all magic. Um, so thus, they were snatched up and escorted off the side of the ziggurat, and that was where we left the last game. So, to pick up where we were, um, Vex, who had Vex in their arms last time? Was that Grog? Grog had, had Vex Grog. and is rushing uh, with her down in your arms. Who has Delilah? And who has Cassandra? Oh, wait. I think Grog has both. He has I'm both sure. of us. Yeah. I'm piled on top of That's Delilah. Right. He was, yeah. Okay. Was. So you have Delilah and, uh, so you have, you have Delilah and, and, and Vex. Who has uh, Cassandra? I think you I have Cassandra. Cassandra, okay. So, as you guys are rushing down the steps of the ziggurat itself, the uh, uh, the green glass-like jade material slowly fading into the white stone as you, you know, rush towards the base. Um, what little bit of light is available to you from the, the small bits of torches placed the, at the bottom of the ziggurat and what light sources you brought with you. Uh, you find yourself at the very bottom of the dirt and looking around, there's the exit where you guys originally entered this chamber. Um, you do also see a number of small uh, metallic carts uh, some are top turn over to the side. At this point, you can see you have bits and crumpled pieces of white stone and shards of that green glass uh, residuum material left out. And you can see there's just piles of leftover building materials that are kind of scattered about the base floor of this area. Um, are you saying that Keyleth and I have caught up at this point? Because I know that people started going out of the temple. Right. Keyleth ran in. I handed you guys stay behind. to Grog, so, I ran after. Yes, yeah, so you guys are still a little bit behind the rest of the group. You're on your way now, just down, rushing down the stairs of the Ziggurat while the rest of you reach the bottom. Um, sure, that natural 20 that kept her from probably getting sucked into Uranus. Yep. <laughs> probably not. Save versus not. Uranus. <laughs> um, Could have been bad. All right, so, so as, the, as everyone except. Save versus Uranus is what you said. Yeah. That is what I said. Put it in the handbook. <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> The next errata document. Has and Lady Briarwood is manacled as well. She is manacled behind you, and Cassandra is tied up. Right. It's up to there. Uh, as the rest of you rush down to the bottom, uh, minus uh, Vax and Keyleth, uh, what do you wish to do? Do you wish to wait for them, or are you going to push on towards the tunnel you entered? Oh, fuck them. We keep running. We're trying to get out of the area, right? I'm barely conscious right now, well, right? I was yeah. kind of yelling in my earpiece. Uh, fuck it. Run. Run, run. So you run, know that they're run, following run, behind run, you. Run, run. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yes. Get this bitch off of me. Oh, sorry, yeah, fuck it. It's like carrying coats, hold on. <coughs> so I put uh, one in each arm, there you are go. Are we leaving? Yeah, we're trying to get out of here as fast as we can. How are you feeling? Grog, and I reach up and I grab onto his beard. Uh. This is a beautiful beard. Watch out for traps. And so at this point, as you're having this discussion, you guys are rushing down, you guys see this as you're rushing down the ziggurat, the, uh, the radiant energy that is currently the form of Pike seems to have oh. slowly withered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she kind of looks over oh. her shoulder with a look of immediate fear as it. Oh no! Oh, no! Why, did, why, the, why? Because of technology. Because of technology. And also the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know she was gone! I didn't either! Pike, no! Oh, she was no. no, Pike! It seems as if the. Uh, the whatever anti magical aura has slowly pushed the divine connection that keeps her present. Uh, from the current vicinity. <laughs> Did your fucking computer die? Also, the battery died on the computer. <laughs> is Cassandra, is that black orb? Hey, no! Uh, black orb? Where can we plug oh, it Damn it! Right there. So, you guys worst. continue pushing on, you make your way to the cavern, and begin heading back towards the uh, undercroft vicinity of Whitestone. Um, yeah, let me know when we leave that big ass room that the ziggurat is in. We're still in it, right? You're, you guys have just now made your way towards the exit the tunnel, tunnel. So, so you're just now leaving. I remember the tunnel sucking, booby trap wise. That's what not I said. Until what I, passed, watch out for not traps. until what passed the 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 gold room, the the the, the glass room. I marked all the traps. Though. All the traps are marked. All the traps that we found. No, yeah, like remember shock, there was though. one, the poison dust one, which we're immune to still. But that already got set. Can I Rest. can I check for traps as I go? Can I check for traps as I go? Sure. Well, you, you you push and make your way into the. Um... <laughs> You're checking for traps. Yeah. You're holding two ladies. Yep. As, no, rest, as, as you guys rush behind. No, them. Almost Saturday night, my friend. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, you you head back into the tunnel, uh, having to lower your head a little bit as you're carrying this this payload. You're kind of lumbering through a giant Goliath body, just stomping through the darkness. <laughs> a payload. Uh, he called him. He called you a payload. Yeah. Um, 
you come to where there is the partially dissolved stone door, right? Um, and you just kind of rush underneath and using all of your back muscle, make a strength check. Oh my gosh, that's good. Uh, Twenty-four, <laughs> tensing the entirety of your entire. I'm muscle not that structure. heavy. Oh, it's not about you being heavy. It's about the door itself not being quite large enough for him to come through carrying that large okay. Thank you for people. Mm. Yeah. Um, you lift and you hear the stone <laughs> shift as it's forcefully pushed up. Uh, you hear snaps of things breaking or supports that were keeping it in place as you essentially break the door and jam it upward, giving you enough space to pull through the rest of the party. Fucking hate doors. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? We do. Yeah. We do. The greatest nemesis is, of Fox. Is Cassandra awake or is she unconscious? She's unconscious, correct. Damn it. Um, you make your way into the, uh, the, the top level of the the, the, the distillery room, down the pathway into the upward ramp to the opposite side, the door open, and you are now outside of the distillery trap. Um, it's the danger area. Oh no. You're out. Wait, so who's I'm who's so at like zero health? One, one point. I'm at one point of health. Oh, we have potions now, we're out of the magic. Can't you heal Potential. people? I can, we can try yeah. it, we can try it just a I have potions just too, but... Like are we medicine? out of the room? We're out of the room. Yeah, we're out of the room. You're not currently with them though. You're still, you're behind with Vax trying to catch. Up. I have a, I have some. You have, have some I have a common. Can I try giving Vax a common healing potion? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to stop for a second and just like pull it out? No, I'd fucking drop Lady Briarwood like on her face. Okay. Hard. Oh no, she might die. No, she could die. Die. Okay. Yeah. It's I just <laughs> rolls, it bounces a little bit just from the sheer force of the throw. Uh, not even paying attention to whether or not she's still breathing. You reach in, how you bring out your potion, set Vex down, and hand it to her. Um, so you go ahead. Work. Please work. You go ahead and heal uh, 2d4 plus 2. Eight points. Oh! Ah, really? Yeah. Okay. We got Here's some my magic. d4 plus 2. Oh, that's good. That's a whole 8 points. There you go. That's actually a pretty good. And roll. it stays? It works? Uh, at this point, as you guys have pushed uh, outside of that room, it appears to be functioning again. Yay! Yeah. Oh, good. That took. Um. Who can you can you heal people? Well, wait. It's a yes or no question. I'm awake enough. <laughs> I wait. can try. I'm I'll awake enough. I didn't use all my my. I wake up and I cast cure wounds on myself. Oh. Okay. Go for it. You can roll for that. I can't do that. Oh well, shit. There I'm you like, go. ooh, I love him so <laughs> much. <laughs> cure <Woman moves. laughs> At just first level, or? Um, I think. Uh. Second level, I have enough. Okay, so so two two d eight person. plus your uh, yeah. your spell casting modifier. Okay. Maybe with some modifiers. That was not even as good as the common potion. Wait, wait. Eight. Oh well, well, sort of. Fourteen. Okay. Okay. Eight. All right. Some people. Are. So basically, full hit points at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I feel All like right. I should heal you up just a touch more. What are you at? 23 points. That's pretty fucking low. All right, okay, I'll okay. give you my greater heal. I have, no. I have one. She can have mine. No. Really? Yeah, I'm a giant. No, I'll take, I'll take this one. I want you to have my greater healing potion. It would mean so much to me if you oh, would no. take it. <laughs> Drink. Thanks, no problem. Pike, Pike, we're here. I'd give it to her, but <laughs> not so. You're pretty cool too. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. What do I roll for that? Four D four plus four. Wow. Magic. I feel so strong now. <laughs> you better roll strong. Yeah. Mm. Eleven. So I'm at thirty-four points. Hey, as a uh, that's better. as that's a better. thank you for that. What? What about that gun? Scammon. Just let me hold it. Oh, he did. He did it. Just give you a potion. I'm just letting you know. You're not skilled with range attacks. There's nothing he can do with it anyway. I have all the ammunition. I know. You can't That's do anything with it. That's what you think. My pickpocket fingers are faster than you could ever imagine. <laughs> I, I really don't think they are. <laughs> uh. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> at, at this point, Keyleth and Vax catch up to the rest of you guys. I'll take that. How did it go? Did you kill the little, um, the little black thing of death? No. Don't do it. It's so stupid to do that. What? Vex it's not gave Scanlan a gun. I don't think it's loaded. Oh, God. 
careful. Do careful. I look? Does it look cool? No. 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 I tried to. <laughs> no, I tried to jam a piece of the the jammy uh, the the magic glass. The oh jammy yeah. magic glass into it, and um, I, I, uh, I'm I'm probably lucky that I was able to pull away as quickly as I did because I think it kind of eats everything around it. So wait, it's still it's still there. It's still there. Yeah. Is it moving at all? It's doing its like really fast spinny thing. Well, that's not good. What about all the bodies in the room? Are they still like? Bah. I thought I could maybe go into my wild shape and bring down the building. I thought maybe if I collapse the building, maybe it was drawing some sort of energy from the nets of intertwined bodies. Right. But right. I couldn't because it was blocking all magic capabilities. Can I look over at Lady Briarwood and do a, a check on her to see if she looks stable or? Sure. Uh, which at, the, at this point, too, just to notice, in all the chaos and all the uh, the intent trying to get things out of there, um, you've just now starting to realize that the seeming spell that you placed on the whole party <gasps> had also been canceled as part of whatever this oh. triggered anti-field was. So in this, you all kind of look around and realize, oh, we are in a bunch of Percy's. And <laughs> oh, beautiful it's... again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's good, because I noticed your beard. That's right. That's right. I'm, are, are you checking on Lady Briarwood? I am. Trinket's like nuzzling the body. Oh. Keep her unconscious. Trinket, careful, careful. I'm gonna try and wake Cassandra up. Okay. Beetle, 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 beetle. The That's sound the of magic. Her, isn't That's it? That's magic, you can just write that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, you go ahead and, and, and check up on her. Go ahead and make a, actually, this is pretty easy. You take a moment, you kind of just feel her for a pulse. She is currently still alive. <gasps> and with a flash, <laughs> With a flash of divine energy just past the outskirts of this anti-magic field, you can see Pike's uh, radiant ethereal form all of a sudden reconstruct itself. Pike! 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 Come back, come back, come back, come back! Oh, thank well, God. Really we're, 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 kill, we're killing uh, Lady Briarwood? No, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. Everything's okay. Thanks, Sarah and Ray, you're back. Okay, uh, we're, uh, can, can I heal somebody? Um, well, we did that a bit while you were gone, but, but yes. But I'm still pretty low. Vax like, is if, low. If you like it, I could, I would take it, and I would be grateful. How's everybody else? Can you heal a couple people? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a little shaky. I'm a little shaky as well. Mike, heal us all. We love you. Are we taking? Okay. Let me do a mass cure wound because I have that. Gather together, <laughs> everyone. Gather together. <laughs> Group hug. Oh wait! But wait. We don't want her to don't heal. Don't let Lady Briarwood in the circle Wait, of healing. Wait, is she alive? Did you check she's her? She's alive. She, is she alive? Uh, she is currently alive. She's Rob, unconscious. Drag her over there. And she's the. Um, okay. Thankfully, from the from the blast and the sheer force of it, um, part of the wound uh, was cauterized, but she has been bleeding quite a bit on on the run down here, and she would probably need some sort Should of. Should I stabilize her? Let's. Or we let yeah, do we stabilize her first? We're away from yes. the fucking sacrifice area. Maybe we should just kill her. Um, I want to quickly check my gun. What is 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 Lord Briar Briarwood's name still on it? Uh, you go and in, in, inspect the barrel. No, uh, Silas Briarwood is uh, currently uh, erased from the barrel. At previous Let's hold off just a bit before we kill her. I have some really dirty rags. Could I do a medicine check and try and stabilize her bleeding? If you want to. With oh, dirty God. rags? Gross. An 18. That's pretty good. Do you have medicine What's your skill? Zero. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys are having this conversation, Grog comes over and like pulls out a, a model mass really of, dirty, of, of really filthy rags oh. from the bag of holding. Probably, those big. probably used in you know, various nose wiping circumstances. Or other things. But somehow, but somehow, um, <laughs> It manages to to stop the bleeding and keep her <laughs> relatively stable for the moment. Yeah. Okay, and then I take her by the foot and I drag her on her face away from the group. <laughs> okay. And and very you... gently, but still by her foot. Okay. Double check, perhaps gag her as well. Oh right, yeah, she good talks and shit, doesn't she? I don't want her speaking, and she only has one arm, so yeah, magic's going to be tricky. Th this kind of thing, oh. but yeah. she can still talk. So. Pike, did you say you wanted to cast mass cure wounds? You said. Yes. Okay, you can choose up to six creatures in a thirty-foot radius, so it's your choice who you want to heal. Okay, so I'll. Why I'll, she can't I'll... see us? Why are, we, why are we holding our hands up? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, you can see us on the screen. There's, Never mind. There's... I know. I, ha I have you guys on my iPad down here, but you're just <laughs> delayed. Six. Oh, awesome. All okay, so I'll, I'll 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 cure I'll cure all on my, my the six people in my family. All right, so that's a three three d eight plus five for you. Wow. Pour one out for your homies. Yeah. Roll high. 
Oh, to have a cleric in the group again. I know. Yeah, no, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Life. Nice. 3d8 plus 5? She's rolling. She's rolling. She rolls. Come on. 26. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let this be a lesson for all people out there that think clerics are lame and nobody loves them. We love them. I like me. Uh, can I tear a, a piece of fabric off of uh, one of the three remaining fancy robes and uh, I tie it around Lady Briarwood's mouth? But like, and, you know, like, oh, and then she so can't, <laughs> she can't like, really enunciate. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so you go ahead and you, you pull it in, you gag around and set her mouth, and as you end up tying it, you can see one of her eyes kind of lulls open, <gasps> and she kind of... <laughs> oh, shit, she's awake! <laughs> Punch her in the face. Punch her in the face. Punch wait, don't, face. wait, don't, 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 don't. You'll kill her, you'll kill her, you'll kill her. What do you want to do? Blindfold her. I slap her. <laughs> <laughs> Roll strength. Shit. Oh, man. I'm going to kill her with a slap. <laughs> she'll be knocked unconscious, and then she'll have to save three times again. 21? Oh, that's good. No. Okay. Whack! Right across her face. You hear a resounding crack sound as it appears like a, some part of her cheekbone probably is going to oh, be fairly shit. bruised tomorrow. Uh, but she is straight to unconsciousness. Ha -ha. Again. Ah. <laughs> if you were curious, she's still alive. I, I can die. tell. Now. She almost killed me. Is she just unconscious or is she. Like... She's still breathing. All right. I'm gonna try and wake Sorry. up Cassandra. Okay. <laughs> Update bandages on her real good. Right. So as you're as you're standing so in, in, the, in the tunnel, you know they're off to one side. Um, you go over to where Cassandra, uh, you know, you, where you set her down and have the conversation, and she's still bound, you know, arms and legs. She's nearly hogtied by Grog when you guys finished up at the top of the temple. Um, she's breathing. You can see the, like the the dirt from being pushed in the ground is kind of caked in on where the tear marks were down her face. Um, you shake her gently, and eventually she comes to consciousness and kind of. Yeah, gently. You know, her eyes kind of roll around for a moment. She glances over at you. And goes, Percy? We will have a discussion later. In the meantime, do you know what that thing in there is, and how do we stop it? She didn't see it, did she? I don't. What? The spinning What's going orb on? of death. And she like, starts kind of moving that. around and looking around the tunnel real fast at everyone. What happened? What's going on? You betrayed some bitches, that's what you I'm, did. And she, as she says, you see that it's, she reacts as almost like someone had just punched her in the chest and the tears begin to flow down her face again and she's, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I... I'm going to slap her in the face. Okay. God. Psh, go ahead and roll strength. Your sister, first. You might be unconscious to you. Not with my strength. Natural Natural body. Body. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 16. <laughs> My strength, is, well, actually, my strength is still thin because of the. Uh, I, I still have, I have like an. I have oh, a, negative two strength. So right? fifteen. The fifteen, yeah, okay. Just negative one. So, 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 so you smack her, um, just to kind of get her attention and, yes. and to stop the circumstance. Um, she uh, kind of stops and for a second gathers herself and her breathing slows and she kind of just stares off into space for a moment. And, I I need my sister back. Are you awake? Are you a terrible person? Do I want to strangle you right now? Probably. Good, then we can work with this. <laughs> they were building something down here. The Briarwoods are no longer a problem. They were building something. What do you know about it? It may be started. It's, it seems to be affecting magic, I think. I don't know. I, they, they wouldn't let me near it. They, don't I, lie to us anymore. I'm not lying. Do I have a reason to lie right now? And she looks over at you with an intensity through her gaze that catches you not as desperation, but as passionate self-loathing. You seem to really believe your words, but you know, your word is worth fuck all right now. Fuck all. I know. I know. She kind of leans her head down on the uh, side of this cavern wall and kind of stares off in the space because I, I, all that I know about this is that they've been building it under the guidance of some other person, entity. And they've referred to him many times as the Whispered One. 
very secretive about it. The only reason I didn't know was because I'd overheard a few conversations and questioned them about it, to which um, there was punishment. But I... They mainly kept me to try and keep the people at bay. My job was to keep in contact with anyone who would attempt to rise against them, inform them, that would prevent any surprises, although apparently, and thankfully, I didn't do a very good job, and she looks around the room at the rest of you. Uh, can I just sort of check my history memory banks to see if I know what, anything about the Whispered One, or if that jogs any memory? Well, religion check, Mr. Well, religion Bar. Religion check. Um, well, that's not good. Cassandra. 20. What? Natural 20? No. Damn it. I got. I had a really strong reaction to that. <laughs> oh, yes, the oh, whispers! whispers! What? what? He's gone. He's Where is he? About the is, oh Jesus! This is, is the pre-show days. I'm so excited! Uh, it's not new. It's just it been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, but he's on this side of the. None table. of us have rolled this well in so long. Just to play it. Up. Don't over listen. <laughs> Matthew is the whispered one. He is the whispered one. This is normally the time when Sam would. Oh. It was all tongue in my ear the whole time. <laughs> lucky, it was so lucky dirty. boy. Uh, oh, the whisperer, the whispered one. <laughs> yeah, it draws a, I have a memory. I don't know where I learned of this knowledge. I am very old. <laughs> but I did, I, at some point in my travels, I, I, I remember reading about something, uh, uh, a, 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 lit, a lich? A lich king? Oh, man. Oh, Not again. Who, who wanted to be a god. And his name was Vecna. And they called him the Whispered One. That's all I remember. He, he tried to achieve great power, and I don't know if it was successful or not. Oh boy. Cassandra, does any of that sound familiar? Lich entity. Cassandra kind of shakes her head and says, honestly, I didn't know anything beyond the name. I just know that they were very uh, close with this individual. When you betrayed us, you said you were serving a higher purpose. Did they plan to sacrifice you to him? I know there was a blood ritual involved. I did not know more than that there was to be a gift of power should I give an element of my life to this ritual. I, and she kind of shakes her head for a second. She blinks her eyes and she's like, I, I don't feel like I was right in my head. Cassandra. I look back on so many decisions I've made and all the, the people that I've, and the tears just start flowing again. Inside checks. Yeah, 14. 14? Um, the best that you can read off of her is there is a deep, deep look of regret and sorrow in her face. And you do notice that through most of this conversation, as much as she's been able to talk to all of you, she has been unable to make eye contact with Percy. I'm gonna walk over, plump down in front of her, say, you've backed a losing team. And that's not surprising. You having been through what you've been through. That's all gone now. Silas is gone. Delilah is on death's door. Whitestone needs to be tended to and protected. Do you know anything that can help us save your birthright here and now? I mean, you've already done half the job. Your eyes look over at the unconscious Delilah in the hallway. Cassandra, 
Is there any reason why they would want to sacrifice you in particular? She's, she kind of thinks hard for a second, her eyes squinting. I don't. They're... They spoke very little. Intentionally, I think of what they wanted to do. To be honest, I think there was an element that even they didn't know quite what they were doing. I was a tool. I was to be used. I had my purposes, and, and I did my best to fulfill them. I've got a question. <clears throat> Do you care if I smash the shit out of Lady Briarwood's head now? She glances over at her, and with a stern look in her face, she goes, Someone needs to avenge my family. And for the first time, she looks over and makes eye contact with you. You feel a pulse in your hand, like a heartbeat. Boom. The gun itself seems warmer and warmer. And you guys all notice as a bit of smoke begins to billow out the sides of Percy's sleeves. No, no. You hear a familiar voice creep up in the back of your head. Percival. I walk up to Lady Briarwood. <gasps> yeah. At your mercy. I put my gun to Lady Briarwood's head. Wait, 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 yeah, Percy, yeah, you're gonna yeah. shoot an unarmed woman? Uh, Don't shoot an unarmed woman with that. Unarmed, she tried to kill us. You changed the deal. Take her name off the gun. The deal was never changed. Who's he talking to? The deal was made. I pull the gun away. Things have changed. We need to talk. All right. Well, who's he talking to? I hold my hand up and, and shush the group with my hand. You made a great sacrifice for my gifts, Percival. Do not let it be in vain. Did I even want revenge before I talked to you? Did I? I don't remember anymore. What does she die for? What do I even need? I want my country. I want my sister. I have killed two of those who have wronged me, and nothing is better. Nothing feels better. Nothing is avenged. What is this worth to you? And I put the gun back at her head. Pull the trigger. I take out my hammer. Put it back. Put it to her, put it back, so maybe I will. You're placing the gun against your own head. And back to hers. Oh, Jesus. Cassandra screams out. Don't. Percy, no! Percival, don't do this. We made a deal. I put the gun to the side of, no. I'm holding the gun on, on Briarwood. That deal was a soft deal. It was a dream. It was a vision. What are visions if not a window into the future? You understand so little, Percival. Do not make me regret sharing this with you. I need more from you. If you want anything from me, I don't trust you anymore. Besides, I put the gun to the right of Lady, I put the gun to the hand of Lady Briarwood. Missing hand? And pull the trigger. <gasps> the gun's broken anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I drop it. <gasps> I'm not satisfied. I want my money back. <laughs> The smoke still billows out from you at this point. It's actually also still around her, it occurs to me. Mm. Go ahead and make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Yep. Yes. I'm training. I her. have advantage, thank you. 
You do. I'm not doing anything, but I'm holding a dagger and just watching Percy and okay. being Percy. Yay! Twenty. Twenty. You feel uh, that warm pulse that was in your hand earlier, that was coming from the gun. It pulses like a heartbeat in the hand that was holding it. And for a second, you feel like something just grabbed your wrist and slapped it away towards your back. Reaching for a bad news is. Which does work. And then you <clears throat> rip control of your hand once again. Delilah, you are going to die tonight. Whether or not it is a merciful quick death or a slow and agonizing one, controlled by something darker than I know, is entirely up to you. How do we stop that thing? Delilah, whose eyes are still kind of rolling after all the shouting that's been going on and this little bit of coming consciousness with the gag around her mouth, just kind of goes, <laughs> and eyes dart around in fear. You can see like their makeup is run down her cheeks from her own uh, lamenting over Silas's loss and the confusion over the ritual. And the fear all of a sudden turns to seething, burning hatred as they dart around. And then <laughs> she can't talk with the. I, I will mage hand to remove the oh gag God. from her. I okay. pull an arrow and aim it right at her head. Just yeah, I kind of start. I prep my fire hands. I know, the, I know the pain you're feeling right now. I know the rage. I know every moment of it, and I guarantee I can make it worse. I can make it so much worse. Fix this. And join your beloved. Okay, as as this is happening, as this is happening, she, you know, the 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 gag falls away from her mouth from the magic hand. She's glancing at you, and the smoke is now billowing up stronger to the point where you can barely see Percy's torso. You can see his head now, and as what little bit of a view you have, his eyes have gone completely dark. There is just pitch black, completely encasing entirety of his visible eye. You can see his feet still dangling beneath the smoke, and his feet are digging in tents into the ground. Delilah, don't make me hurt you. I reach over and I grab Vex's hand, and I just look at her and I say, well, what do we do? do we Grog, do be ready to restrain me. I'm ready. You Percival Frederick Stein, von Musel Kowalski de Rollo III, you will fight this monster inside of you. Delilah's looking at you right now, and this kind of the anger and fury in her eyes clarified. She just kind of looks up and says, "You've already taken everything from me. I really haven't. You still have your sanity and your life. I will take your life tonight, but I can leave you your sanity." Interesting. You seem to be struggling, Percy. Okay, I'm gonna be an asshole. Fine. Fine. Oh. Casting minor minor illusion. Okay. I'm changing my form into the screaming, writhing, slowly, slowly <gasps> melting visage of Lord Briarwood. Oh shit. <laughs> and I'm just going to scream in holy high hell in pain. Okay. Oh. So so uh Suck it, girl. Right, so, so minor illusion as a limitation, it would not be a full body illusion, but you could take elements of your features. I'm in smoke. To resemble it. I'm just taking. Yeah, yeah. I know so, I'm in the smoke. So, where once Percy's face existed, it twists into this shimmering apparition of Silas Briarwood, uh, looking down at her as his face contorts into horrible screaming pain. The head rises up, and almost soundlessly, he screams out as the flesh begins to melt from the bone. As it does, Percy's voice rings out in this cacophonous roar that shakes the cavern around you. That pain you're feeling, I've felt for years. Don't think I've imagined every way to hurt you. I could spend years hurting you before you die, in ways you cannot imagine. Now, how do we stop it? I don't know. I don't even know if it worked. We've been preparing for this ritual for five godforsaken years, all to repay that. And that's all. 
You forced us. It was too soon. Why? Why was it too soon? What were you waiting for? We were waiting for a particular date. There's a time each year in which the barriers between the realms glow and grow very weak. You recall Erevan's attempt generations ago to blur between the realm of ice and this one, oh, what shit. you call the Winter's Crest. Well, this is too early. And you saw our failure. He will not be happy, I imagine. And I still owe him for what he gave me, for what he gave us. What did he give you? At which point, her tear, her, her eyes well up with tears and she looks over at me. She gave me, he gave me my Silas back. And you took him from me again. So do what you must do. I know I've paid my penance. And I know that no matter what steps you take now, it'll only drag you deeper into this dark hole you've drawn yourselves. And you'll hear me laughing. No, I really won't. Knock her out again. Oh, fine. <laughs> Make a strength check. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> I do. 19. Boof. You hear ting, 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 across some of the lower rocks as two of her teeth go <gasps> scattering up the side of her mouth. Collect them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not pointy, right? No. Let's check her person for anything. Any. Oh, I will I will gladly do Thank that you. for Wait, you. Wait, hold on a second. Are you sure you don't want to smoke this bitch? I do. I check her person for anything. I think valuable. we're just going to throw her into the acid pits. <laughs> what is that with it? Wait, 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 what? No, I don't feel. What's the plan here, Percy? This is I go to retrieve town. his pepper box off the floor to give it to Percy, him, and I try to sneak out a bullet. <gasps> different bullets. They Does it matter? I don't know that. <laughs> make, it, make, <laughs> make a slight of hand check. Yes! Do it. Three. Shit. <laughs> now, you break it two. further. Plus two. Okay, so five. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> the three, but three in theory is actually low enough to break it further. Make a perception check. Plus two is five. Fine. Natural one. Uh, no, that's a, a sixteen. So you watch as Scanlan kind of looks around, grabs it, <laughs> picks it up, and <gasps> the, the full barrel comes off of the gun. <laughs> I just sort of back away from it. <laughs> you guys, he's got smoke billowing out of him right now. Just sort of kick it off away to the corner. <laughs> Scanlan, give me the other gun. Oh, it's on the floor right there. <laughs> the, uh, the other gun. You were talking to something out there. What was it? I was very scared. I'm a little man. Just <laughs> something. Who were you talking to? I, I need another gun. <clears throat> Are you going to kill me? <laughs> 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 I walk between them and say, Percy, what are we doing here? That woman deserves everything that is brought upon her, but what are we doing for Whitestone? What are we doing? More importantly, what was that just now? Who were you talking to? I don't know. <laughs> what? Things have gotten a bit weird. Percy, you cannot honestly tell us you don't know anymore. I don't we know. We just watched you have a full-fledged conversation with yourself. Did they not hear any of the voice? I'm yeah, was he talking no. out loud? Oh shit, I came off like a crazy person. Yeah, he did. Yes, you did. Shit. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yes. Here's what I know. We were trying to answer you for oh, a little shit. bit. Here's what I know. 
Vecna is possibly, maybe on the loose, maybe coming back. We know that this ritual has been started, and we don't know whether killing her is going to end it or not. So I propose that we start leaving right away. I was Hi, going do to. Do you know anything about Vecna? Anything further? Mike, you can go make a religion check. Matt, fly to New York to whisper in her ear. <laughs> it's tempting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just text 47. 17. 17, okay. Uh, not a whole lot more information than what Scanlan was able to, uh, to ascertain from this. You just know that this entity known as Vecna, once a very powerful uh, Archlich, had once attempted to ascend to godhood and uh, was supposedly halted in the process, a battle that occurred on another plane uh, amongst heroes that were mostly, uh, only a few came back from, but apparently stopped a very terrible thing. Um, but that, that was hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I you, wonder what Erevan has to do with this. And he created a vampire? He made Silas a vampire? You do know vampire. that, sorry. Go ahead. You, you do know, um, and you know, Pike lays this too, um, in particular, Vecna is uh, known as, uh, for lack of, of a better term, kind of the the patron saint or lesser god to those who worship as the deity of secrets. Uh, dark secrets, things that wish to be kept out of the knowledge of most of the world at large. And these secrets are coveted. Things are complex, and I don't trust myself to take her life. I'm in over my head. Do you need someone else to do it for you? Yeah, she's I don't worthless. Know if that will help. She almost killed Vex. She didn't kill Vex. We gotta fucking do this, something with this her. This thing wants her dead, and the only thing I can think to do is to say no. This thing. That's true. Vecna. What thing? Vecna. The thing in my head. Your thing. What thing is that? Person? I don't know. We'll start fucking talking, Percival, because we will watch you talk to yourself for five straight minutes, and we're not going to deal with it for much longer. Sorry, Percy, I'm with I, facts here. I had a dream, and that was all. You mentioned just now that you wanted your money back. Was this yes. a dream? It was. Did a... you pay somebody? <laughs> it was a dream. And with what? It was a dream where I was offered a means to revenge. It was a dream, and... Well, clearly it wasn't. Well, I know that now, first of all. This is as new to me as anyone. It feels like you are lying to Can us. Can I do an insight check on him? Can you? Please. <laughs> Let me know if I'm lying, because... Fucking fucking Why do you fuck. all keep rolling so poorly against you? Okay, no, 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 uh, tell me, uh, t Talson, tell me, tell me what's your, uh, your... Ooh, 23 persuasion. against him. Uh, and deception uh, skills are? Persuasion six, deception two. Okay. 23. Okay. 23. 23. 23. 23. Ooh, yeah. Whisper, oh, whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh my god, he's gone. So he exciting. disappeared. Inner, inner, inner party stuff is fine. Man. The theme of the episode. We have to title this one Whispers. 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 I think we've already had an episode called Whispers. Have we? Well, this Whisper. one's called uh, Secrets and Lies. This one's called Whisper Sync. <laughs> ear tonguing. This one's Apple called just ear tonguing. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. For the record, I like the shadow. Stop. <gasps> I get one too. He whispers to you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there was more tongue with you though, Sam. So. Well. Shh. Just didn't, get, point that didn't, out. Get enough, <laughs> didn't get sufficient tongue in yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought there'd be more. No, I thought there'd be more tongue. <laughs> Say that in my ear. <laughs> you don't seem very. Remember, these you. shirts are available online at geekandsundry.com. I knew, I knew you were gonna do that. I almost did it when he was whispering in your ear, just for your sake. <laughs> <laughs> just for your sake. I would also like you to make another wisdom saving throw. Oh shit! Oh, no. Smoke. Natural twenty. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Breaking the game. What right. the? What? Don't tell me. At this point, you feel your hands tense up 
and once again begin to reach towards your back. You close your eyes, and with all your will and might, you just scream, No! Instinctively. It wasn't even a conscious thought. It was just an, an animalistic response to feeling your physical form being taken over. And in that moment, every muscle in your body tenses. And you guys watch the smoke momentarily kind of drift from his form behind him. Behind him? Off of him. You don't need to yell at us, Percy. We're just trying to help you. Like the smoke dissipates or goes behind him? I don't think he's rational. Behind him. I'm aiming at the smoke. I'm just watching and waiting. At this point, you can see this uh, this smoke Kevin? that's kind of was once billowing from Percy is now standing in this outer human-like shape. Unbeam say, unbeam say. <laughs> um, to, to cashed out and say. That's As it kind of stands there for a cashed moment, say, okay, cashed it begins to swell and grow larger, filling almost to the height of the 10-foot oh, tunnel you guys are standing in, looming over Percy's body, still connected through his shadow and through the floor of the, uh, the tunnel itself. It just kind of looms over, and as it peeks forward, you guys, for the first time, hear the voice that's been poking through him this entire time just say, Percival, do it. I shoot a holy arrow at it. Then let's roll some initiative. Oh my God. <laughs> We're fighting the thing that's been here. All right, no. so. There's, Therapy! There's so many allegories! Therapy! So many allegories. We're fighting the demons in your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great, actually. All right. My therapist would be oh, so proud see me. right now. <laughs> That's one, 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 one. Yeah. Got these out before. All right. Oh man, we are out of like everything, aren't we? Yes. Oh, we're great. Yes. We're fine. We're good. We got a guy with a hammer. This. We're fine. fine. Bro, just you are oh, fine. Jeez. Okay. But that's well, pretty good. I also, I've still got two third level spells. So I need stats on on, on Lord Briarwood's sword at some point. You know what we have? Uh, you haven't taken a short rest. You know what we have? We have fucking Pike. We have Pike! Oh yeah, we do! We got Pike! Yeah, I'm pretty low on spells, guys, but we're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay. Um, <laughs> I have been dreading this no. for years. What? What have you been dreading? This moment oh right God, now. This, this has been in him for three I've been waiting years, for this four is, years. Yeah, no. Forever. Forever. Since the beginning. Since cool. we've known, it's cool. since we've met you. Since you've I'm met me, this has been like I'm standing in front of Lady Briarwood like, since I was like, shit be like going on. Since you're right there with her. I know, I'm so excited. Okay. Excuse me for a second, I forgot to oh, say Or I'm, I'm either going to be a new Percy or a new person entirely. Or no, die. don't say that. Oh. I'm so sorry, it's so fun to do oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, As everyone's oh. drawing their weapons, I shout, maybe we should check and make sure yeah, so that he, it won't kill him if we kill it. It's too late, I shot it. It's too late. It. Who's standing where? I'm gonna say, uh, Pike's probably... You have a little cavern for this. Where's I do. Percy, where's Percy? Uh, Percy is currently kind of right here. Yeah, I would I'm more be, by the center there, talking to everybody. I would be next um, to him because that's. Do you have a mini once. for my for my dark, the dark specter of my soul? Uh, I'm. Oh. I love you. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> oh. Okay, with uh, Cassandra on the ground there. Oh. Um, I'm next to Vex. Right. So you guys would be probably back here. Yeah. Your dagger's ready. Trinket is probably over by you, of course. Yeah, of course he is. And uh, Keyleth. I'd say you're probably on this side talking to Percy. Okay. Oh wait, but we were holding hands at one point. So That's we true. Were kind of close. Mm. So then, uh, and Grog was covering me, so Grog would have been closer to me because I had him. Yeah, I was I was in front of Lady Briarwood. Though. I wish I had you right here between oh. him and Lady okay. Briarwood, right there. That seems good. We're good. That's good. Do I have a clear shot at? Not that I'm going to do it, but I was aiming at Percy. So I would have a clear line of sight. Is there nothing between us? Uh, nothing you right? would have a clear line of sight. Well, the, the two gnomes are between you, so yep. you're fine. I'm great. So. Happy right now. Have my holy arrow do. Oh, we're gonna find out in just a second. Mm -hmm. um, so first and foremost, initiative order. We have okay, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-five. Wow. Okay. So we have sex. Twenty. Two twenties. Uh, nineteen to fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Suck it up. Uh, 15 to 10? 17. 17. Oh, 17. Right. Oh, sorry, did I miss that section? You did. That's okay. Uh, Pike, what'd you get? 
Eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. So first and foremost, Vex, you're up uh, oh. with the initiative on this. You go ahead and you bring your holy arrow and you release it. Is it a surprise attack? Um, technically, technically, no. I knew you were there. It was very aware of everyone's position Dick. and was kind of essentially after being forced out of his body at the moment, preparing itself for some sort of a scuffle. So not a surprise round, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and make your attacks with your arrows, if you'd like. Yes. Uh, 28 and 27. So both those hit. Awesome. Nice. Um, okay. Let's see, I don't want to pull that one. These two. Uh, so 15, 16, 17, plus holy damage? Uh, it's... Uh, okay, yeah, so I'll consider that. Do 1d4 radiant damage to it, in addition to that. So 17 plus... 17 four. plus 4 is 21. Mm -hmm. 21 for the first one. And then uh, 10 for the second. All right, so... And then I hunter's mark him. All righty. I, I didn't say Hunter's Mark him at the beginning. I'm explaining this to you guys because I'd already said I shot at him. You did. So I was being honest. We can I feel your I'm disapproval. I'm in the chat room because I know they're going to tell me I forgot my damn Hunter's Mark. That's okay. All right. All right so. Uh, you pull back and release the first arrow as it goes and hits. You can see the smoke itself is kind of obscuring its place and kind of keeping it hard to hit, but you still strike true. The arrow uh, striking into its form and there's a flash of radiant energy as it hits. And you see the creature <clears throat> kind of takes from the impact and stares down at its chest as it looks up, kind of, you know, its face gearing towards you. And it is this formless uh, uh, humanoid body, but the face itself does kind of pinch into this elongated uh, kind of crow. Oh, I didn't do a holy damage for the type. second one. Correct. Did the arrows hit? Yeah, yeah. Did. Uh, they, Plus two more they, for the holy They damage. impacted. Uh, they impacted. Um, okay. Let's do that. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Get it. All right. So, uh, takes both the hits and kind of looks over at you. And you can see, like, like the as it turns the head, you can see better even in this low light, the, uh, the shape of its face and its eyes burst into this angry, burning kind of purplish energy uh, expression, and it uh, looks very unhappy with the current circumstance. Uh, do you want to move your trinket? Uh. Uh. <laughs> the trinket moves around and in front of me to okay. kind of protect me. Okay. There you go. That's what you're just gonna keep there. Yeah. All right. That ends your turn. Scalen, you're up next. How tall is the tunnel? Uh, it's about 12 feet. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. I got precious little I can do. Uh, I will lightning bolt it. I. I. I'm, ooh, I'm re right next to it. You are, which means you could you could just blast towards the wall. All and hit right. It. I will turn around and I will. <clears throat> I will lightning bolt it. Okay. Yes. All right. So, you you it's right there in front of you as the smoke kind of rises up and you see the arrow strike it. There's the flash of holy energy from Vex's attack and that moment as it's distracted you use that to go ahead and conjure your lightning bolt and poof, for a moment the flashing of light lights up the cavern around. The bolt passes through it harmlessly. Uh, what? What did you what was lightning, that? Lightning, lightning. Uh, either or lightning. magic. One of the two didn't affect it. The lightning bolt passes through it, and it just it, it strikes the back of the wall, and you can see the the electrical energy discharge across the stone and earth, kind of arcing and spidering off till it dissipates, uh, seeming to not have any sort of impact or effect on the billowing smoke entity. Uh, oh, shit! You, you want to stay there? Or you want to move? If you I are in its melee range. Kill me, huh? Yeah, you are in its melee range. So if you move, it will get an attack opportunity. Uh, Chooses to take it. I will. I will. I will not. I will. I. Mm, <laughs> I Wendy. I wonder. Hooray I wonder. for Captain Spaulding, <laughs> the African Explorer. Uh, I will not well. move, and instead uh, I will just inspire Percy. Okay. And I'll say, you feel good in this motherfucker? Your whole hood in this motherfucker? <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, take your deep 10 <laughs> Moment of intensity, as you've turned around now at this point, seeing everyone striking, you've looked your head over and you can see for the first time in full physical form the creature that has haunted your dreams for the past five years. Um, and while it is not present, you can feel it smiling. Ugh. It's your turn. <sighs> I'm going to run over to my sister. Okay. And cut open her, her 
bonds. Okay, so you pull out the Bond? rapier. Oh, bonds. Okay. That was my sword to cut open her bonds. Get back! Run! And then, if I still have enough timing beyond that, I'd love to take a swipe at it with my with my sword. Uh, unfortunately, it's gonna to, to free her entirely of her bonds and give her that. That's gonna be your action this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had a short rest, have we? Nope. No. No. Oh. Yeah. We're not looking good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> That's your move. So, yeah. It is now the uh, Vax's turn. Uh, oh, good. So I got advantage because the smoke demon hasn't gone yet. So dagger and a dagger. Mm -hmm. First one is uh, gets uh, twenty-nine, and the second one. Did you box? That's true. Amazing. The second one is a twenty-four. So twenty-nine, twenty-four. What's going to give you the advantage on this? Because he hasn't gone first That's, in the first. He hasn't one. gone yet. That's correct. Yes. All right. So both those hit. The first one is uh, eight, and the second one is uh, an eight. From okay. An eight. Uh, do you want dagger life stealing? Right. Do you want a sneak attack with this? Because in theory, it's it's in it's in melee range with an ally. Oh, with Percy. With Percy and with Scanlan. Yeah. Thanks, boss. Yeah. What's going on? It's like, uh, don't rob yourself of, of what you do. Matt, Matt's Matt's understanding that we are Five, all screwed. Seven, eight, nine. It's hard to see over there. Well, nine, twelve, 13, fifteen points of sneak attack damage. Yeah, I'm not used to the screen. Up. I know. I keep forgetting. Working on the bugs. Yeah, it's a it's a processing. Work on it. All right, cool. 15 points of sneak attack damage. So as you throw the two daggers, whoosh, whoosh, lunging them both, both of them, uh, their little aura of magical energy flashing as they both impact with its smoke form, seeming to sink slowly as they hit and then finding the edge of their blade sunken into its torso as it kind of <coughs> rears back. Um, uh, for that circumstance, there. Eight, eight, and 15. Correct. All right. All right. So the daggers hit it. Cool. Uh, that, are you going to stay where you are, Vax? Uh, yeah, I am. All right. Uh, now it is uh, it is the entity's turn. As it kind of rears and the daggers both vanish from its torso, returning to your belt side, kind of, it's glaring down at you to its side, and it says, Percival, don't make Orthax regret working with you. Orthax? 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 I hired, I hired them to do uh, uh, to get rid of some termites at my house once. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that was really your mistake. <laughs> Shifting this way twice, Percy. You will get an attack opportunity with your rapier if you'd like. I'll take it. All right. But are you, are you using Briarwood's rapier? No, I haven't. No short rest. Right, right, right. Uh, 25. 25 hits, good roll damage. <coughs> uh, nine points. Nine points of damage. All right. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, now on the rest of its turn, as it kind of shifts up, and it doesn't walk or move, its form just kind of drifts along, and the shadow is kind of immediate there. The smoke almost appears at the spot where it intends to go, and then it meets it in that moment. As it does, it now stands between a bunch of you. Its okay. eyes flare with dark purple, and you just hear this scream, this screeching <laughs> echo out from it, and as it does, all of you hold your ears for a second. I need uh, everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. You have advantage. 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 Ah! I guess. Oh. 21. Uh, uh, with the 10, uh, 23. Natural twenty. On the, on, the fir, on the first roll. Nice. Sixteen. Twenty-two. Eight. Sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh shit. Eighteen for Pike. Okay. Uh, so, all of you guys kind of hold your ears for a second, and everyone that that rolled higher than a seventeen um, takes six points of psychic damage. Psychic damage. And art. Right. You guys both take. 13 points of psychic damage. 13 because he's evil. My brain. Mm -hmm. um, both of you feel all of a sudden like your brain filled with this urge to strike something, this, this overwhelming need to slash out at whatever's near you. Um, 
both of you get a, uh, a brief move. Rog, it's going to pull you this way. Um, and uh, Vax is going to pull you this way. I need both of you guys to I need to roll an attack roll. As you rush up with your hammer, the flames <laughs> and you swing it down towards Scanlan. Oh, Scanlan. oh, don't dap me for hitting Scanlan. I'm going to use. We were each other. <laughs> I'm going to use cutting words to try to dodge out of the way. Okay, we'll roll the attack. Uh oh shit. Um, nineteen. Okay, so nineteen. You're gonna make. So I'm gonna say, you gonna fail that attack, so you better sit your ass on back, cause I ain't no holler back no. I ain't, ain't no, no holler back no. <laughs> All right, roll a d10. D10. Come on. Three. So that. What does that do? All right, so cutting words, if I recall, negate it lowers his attack. By right, three, so right? that brings from 19 to 16. What's your armor class? It's 17. Oh! <laughs> With that, uh, the bard's words ring true to your mind, and for a second you feel this new, this 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 not grog-based rage, this outside forceful rage that it confuses you. And as he says that, you're right. He is no hollow back, no. <laughs> and you, you, you. You resist with the hammer, giving him just enough time to step out of the way. It <laughs> poof, slams into the ground harmlessly, cracking the stone around the base. All right, there's no hollow back now. <laughs> Vax, I'd like you to go ahead and make a dagger strike against Pike. Uh, 13, I rolled a 13. Rolled a 13. Uh, Pike, you look over your shoulder, all of a sudden Vax just whoosh, appears behind you and slams forward with the dagger. You swip around with your shield and with a large striking arc of sparks, Deflect the blade blow across the dark air of this interior tunnel. Uh, harmlessly, you take no damage. Badass bike. Uh, all right, cool. Awesome. 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 Ain't no hollow back now. Ain't no hollow back now. <laughs> Ain't no hollow back now. Ain't no hollow back now. And uh, with that, yeah, you know what? It's gonna go and do this. No. The entity then moves backwards. Um, Pike and Scanlan, well, you already use your reaction to do cutting words, so you don't get it. Pike, go ahead and make a melee attack. Damn, that's a reaction? What do I, what do I roll for that again? Like one reaction per round. Your d20. Just, just roll, roll d20, roll for your normal mace attack. 17? 17, unfortunately does not hit. It seems like it should have, but the smoke is obscuring the vision around it, and where you swing, you do not manage to get quite close enough to hit its body as it steps backward into the wall and out of visual range. What? What? In, into the wall? Into the wall. It just God. vanishes into the side of the tunnel. Uh, that brings us cloud, to Grog. The cloud hula went in the wall? Yeah. But, um, I would like to rage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. Oh. Move in front of the rest of the group, like put my back to the rest of the group. Okay, so like right there? Yeah. Okay. What Wait, the fuck, Grog, you just tried wall? to kill me. Which wall to go in? I did? Yes. I don't remember Are that. Are you okay? If yeah. You want, if you want to, you can hold, you can use your action to ready an attack, so whenever a trigger of your choosing happens, you can then make your I would uh, love your to do that. Okay, what, <laughs> what, what trigger would you like? Within... Uh, 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 when he reappears. Okay, and comes within melee range. Yeah, when I can see him with my my beautiful eyes. Okay, so go ahead and your action there. Cool, good to know. Um, Keyleth, you're up. Okay, um, not trusting this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Fairy Fire. Ooh, wait. Cool. Just kind of right. It's a 20 foot radius. Just kind of right in this bubble that we've been hanging out in. Okay. Because I'm assuming he's gonna be up in our faces. Alrighty, Fairy Fire. Into, no, where, where do you want it? Just in yeah, which just vicinity? Yeah, kind just of right, right around us. Okay, so 20 foot radius, so we'll say like probably in the back here, or this way, so this kind of area between these. What does Fairy Fire do? So as uh, Keyleth, well. you, you put your arms out in this burst of kind of glowing luminescent uh, pinkish purple energy begins to sparkle through the air like glitter suspended in low gravity. And as it just kind of drifts through the air, the entire vicinity, you can see it clinging to your guys a little bit. All right. Uh, you're gonna move, and you stay where you are. I'll step back a bit. Step out of the fairy fire or into it? Step out of it. Okay. How many? That's good. Just ten feet. Okay. And then your turn, Keyleth. Pike, you're up. Okay. Uh, is guiding bolt considered the same thing that lightning bolt would be? Or no? Uh, no. As, as as far as you know. Uh, radiant damage. Yeah. It, it's 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 radiant damage, and uh, let me pull up the. We can't see him right now. But he's now, in though. the wall. 
Yeah, you, you have no visual on him. The smoke entity has, has moved into the wall and is nowhere in your visible range right now. So you have nothing that you can attack in theory that you know of. Hmm. Okay. Uh... So if you have any sort of other like buff spells or anything you want to do in preparation for it, or hold your action as well until it reappears, you can do that. Okay. Yeah, hold I'll, I'll, I'll hold my action. Okay. I'll, yeah. Are you st staying where you're put? Are you, are you moving at all? Or you want to stay where you are? I, th I think I'll stay. I can't see where I'm at, but I think I'll, I'll just stay. Okay, cool. The thing, <clears throat> I'm gonna just call out to everybody and say, the thing seems to want Percy. Should we surround him? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. So you shot that out at the end of that? Cassandra now, who's been unbound, kind of gets up. Um, her weapons were taken from her when you bound her. So she kind of stands up and puts herself off the wall and kind of looks at you with like a... I hand her my sword. Okay, she, she takes the rapier and kind of looks at it and goes running uh, away back towards where Castle Weissland is. Who's so gonna take yeah. that one? Okay. Runs. Can I? All right, what are you gonna do? Can I, can I do something? Uh, if you want Wait, to. Next time. I mean, if, if you want, instead of holding your action, cast something, you can do that, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, can I, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go up to Percy and um, cast Protection from Evil on him. Okay. Whoa! All right. Um, which, uh... What are you going to choose? You get to choose a certain type of creature in which he's protected against. Do we know anything about Orthax? Yeah, I don't know anything. Uh, you, have, you have no idea. Uh, you saw it briefly. Uh, I'm going to have you go ahead and roll a religion check. Okay. Being, being a religious, uh, religiously trained individual, let's see if you can ascertain as to the nature of this creature, this entity. 22. 22, okay. Oh. In the brief moment you got to see it, the way it moves, the way it, it completely cast aside Scanlan's attack, and the way that it kind of housed itself within Percy for so long, there are elements of it that make you think of a shadow demon. But usually they're not this large, they're not this powerful. Um, either this is just a powerful you know, entity of a similar type, or it's been feeding over time, uh, or it's something beyond that. But you get the sense that this thing is demonic in nature based on the brief appearance you had with it. Okay, I'd like to protect him from shadow demons. Okay, so that'd be fiends. So you choose fiends? Okay. Great, so any tackles against you from uh, fiend creatures have disadvantage? He's a demon? Uh, no. Well, she's, she's thinking he might be, based on her role. I have a favorite enemy. It's demons. Then, go, knowing that going forward, that may change your next round of combat. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Snap. <laughs> Good enough. All right. So you currently are protected from fiends. Uh, Only that were true in real life. <laughs> oh. Bex, you're up first. Oh. Yeah. So vi demons are my favorite enemy. So yeah. I have advantage against recalling information about them. Yes. Can I recall anything about something that looks like this? Orthox. Orthox. Make, make an intelligence check. Just roll d20. Add your intelligence. And you have advantage on it because it's your favorite. I'll give you that. Intelligence. Not that smart. I'm not that smart. I'm too wow. Well, okay. Um, you know that uh, these creatures are incorporeal. Um, they can generally shift in and out of solid matter as a way of moving and or defending itself. Um, you know that they're difficult to fight in the dark. Um, you also know that they, because of their form, are generally resistant to a lot of types of elemental type damage. Uh, and lightning, cold, no effect whatsoever. Got it. Oh, uh, as well as poison. Good. Good um, that's as much as you can ascertain with that roll. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then I'm gonna cast. Um, where is he? He's, he's, he's disappeared. He's in the fucking wall. wall. Just hit the whole wall. Hunter's mark, can I sense anything about where he is? You can sense, hunter? yeah, you can actually sense him. He's maybe 10 feet inside the wall, like so merged. He's, hiding. he's currently hiding in the wall, yeah. All right, then for my uh, for my bonus action, I'm gonna hide as well. Okay. So go ahead and roll a stealth check. Advantage. Yeah. It's amazing. Really? Wow. Really? I didn't roll it. The cape had nothing to do with your rolls. Three What's and a three. Three? What? Three and a three. Well, hold All on. Right. Let me Plus, add my stealth to that's it. That's a thirty-three. That's a twelve. Twelve. A 12. Okay, good enough. So you. <laughs> Flatten yourself against the wall, best to your ability. Yeah, I do like pretty a much nothing, and I'm gonna hold my turn until he appears. Okay, so so uh, so you're gonna hold your action until he appears. How yeah. dark okay. is it in here? 
Uh, other than the torches you guys have been carrying through here. And the glowing off of our bodies. Yes. <laughs> oh, right, I'm glowing. No wonder I rolled some Fire or Warhammer. Glowing from the, uh, from the fairy fire. Fairy fire. But it's, it's a gentle glow. So it's not, it does not, it's like very, very it's low like light. In the, kind of it's yeah, yeah. It's like we have body glitter on. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. It's like a nice, a nice basement bar. Good dive. Get this shit um, off me. <laughs> uh, and you're, you're trying to scale on, you're up. I say to Keyleth, get this shit off me. I don't want it to see me. Please. Uh, and then uh, I will walk, uh, I'll walk to the other side of Percy. We don't see the thing, right? I no. mean, you can't just move out of the fairy fire. It's only a 20 foot radius. No, isn't it like on me now? No, no, no it's you... a radius. If you move out of it, you're not I'll in walk it. out of it. All right. <laughs> you just step out of the area and it, it all drifts off your body and you're no longer affected by the spell. And there's nothing, we, we don't see the thing, right? Where's the fairy fire spell? Um, it gives anything that's in its radius, you get advantage. Yeah, I mean. It, but it works for us too. Blah, 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 blah. There's not much we can do without seeing our enemy, right? Sweet. Not currently, no. Uh, I'll just hold my turn. Is that a thing? Can yeah, I can do, do that? that. Yes. Yeah. I can say to Grog, Grog, you sure you, you want to? You okay? You're yeah. good. All right. Yeah. Too small. All right. Ends your turn, Percy. You're up. I'm. I'm gonna back out of the fairy fire. Um, you're just stepping out of there. You can keep going if you I'm want. I'm gonna go a little further back, just behind Scanlan. Okay. There. And I'm gonna pull out, pull out uh, bad news, and and hold my turn. Okay. Um, and then your turn, Vax, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna practice an old trick that my sister and I have done, uh, where I hide behind uh, Trinket's gigantic bear ass and uh, hold my turn. Okay. And aim at the spot that my sister is aiming at. All right, good to know. Ditto. All right, uh, at that moment, as you vanish into the side, uh -huh. uh, the entity pops out from this side and like right behind him? Like right behind you as you're preparing, and just all of a sudden, the smoke bill is out, you turn out of the corner of your head. At that point, everyone is holding their action. You're doing your attack simultaneously. <laughs> nice. So. He's in that fairy fire, right? He is currently, yeah. So you get advantage, yo. He, he didn't see it being cast. He withdrew before it happened, so he steps right into it. Um, all right, starting with bad news with a uh, um, sharpshooter. Okay. We get advantage on on, on attack. attack roll. Yeah, all of your That's attacks awesome. on him are currently have, uh, have advantage. Thank God, because um, I rolled a one. Oh, 14. 14 unfortunately misses. You you fire and it seems that in a strange way the gentle pink dust is actually obscuring your vision with the dark shadow in that vicinity, and it just blasts a piece of rock off the side of the wall. Firing wall. again. So fire reload. What the hell? Better. Um, 26. 26 does hit, go to all damage. Uh, that's, oh, thank you. That's pizza. Uh, pizza. I'm looking for my dice. I didn't, I didn't think this through. Yeah, just don't try. 25 points of damage. All right, good to know. Uh, this is piercing, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, the uh, the blast hits, but it appears like the the expected impact from a blast of bad news. A bit of smoke kind of dissipates its impact, and it seems to not be as damaging as you expected it to be. Um, all right, that brings us to the next person who is holding their action. I believe Scanlan, you were. What did you want to do? Uh, <clears throat> there's precious little I can do. So uh, I will just, I will viciously mock it. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, through the hand cone, I will say, don't you know, smoking is the number one cause of cancer <laughs> and emphysema, and it will shorten your life by an estimated 10 to 20 years. It's not cool, and you shouldn't do it. Is that all true? <laughs> I'm BSing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it does not make it state saving throw. Roll a four. Um, so it takes uh, three d4 psychic damage. Yes. So roll that. Nice. Oh, yes. Hot. And it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. <laughs> nice. That, that fiend has low self-esteem. Five points. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Damage. Woo. Boom. And it has disadvantage on what? On its next attack roll. Woo. As it just kind of like. 
its eyes go go darker purple for a second, like it can't contemplate the fact that it just got insulted mid battle, and then they flare up again, even more furious. Uh, uh, as part of that, it's going to use its reaction. Oh, oh yes. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, and it turns towards you, and in a what languages do you speak? Uh, no, common. That's it. Okay. <laughs> you you hear a, a muttering through your ears. And for a second, you feel your field of vision close down like it's focused entirely on you. You're currently uh, marked by its mark of vengeance. Oh. Marked? Yeah. So essentially, it, you're just. There's an effect that's intent on you at the moment. Is it a charm effect? Nope. Damn it. Uh, all right, that ends your uh, Is it health. Fear action. effect? Uh, nope. Yeah, I'm sort of muttering Scanlan's ears. Oh. I take both my blades and I'm just going to slash both of them across. And I, the, he's surrounded, so this is a sneak attack as well. Yes. With advantage, the first one oh, is a 16. Oh no! And the second one is a 27. Second one hits. All right. You go to strike the first time, and as you swing outward, it, it, you just catch smoke and it kind of dissipates around the blade and you stab it into the side of the wall. Okay. Second attack. Here's that sneak attack damage. Uh, that's uh, four plus six is ten plus. Sneak attack, motherfucker! 10, 16, uh, 21, 22, 26, 28, 29 total. 38. That was 38. Huh? Just kidding. No. 29, 29 total. total. My math is awesome. Okay. This blade, however, as you as you stab into this cloud of smoke, you feel that there is more. Uh, Physical presence where it was, and it shoot, sinks in, and you you feel this reverberation as it reacts to the pain. This this dull <laughs> kind of growl I sh sound. Shout, hands off the gnome as I do it. <clears throat> okay. On on my roll, did I do I still get a bonus even after he? He's... You used the last turn. Uh, because that, that was his reaction to you holding your action. No, but I, do I get my bonus action as part of my move or no? Uh, that would have had to be during your turn. When you hold your action, you just get the oh, action when it got triggers. It, got yeah. it, got it. Trying to that more. All right, so uh, that ends back. Do you want to do anything else? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, <coughs> what am I? I'm um, right, there. right up against it. Yeah. No, I'm gonna use disengage and back up uh, further back by my sister. And but is that Vex and Keyleth? Right there, yeah. I'm gonna move between my two favorite ladies. All right, there you go. Gross. Good to know. Nope. All right, All right uh, and you were holding your action. Yes. And you were holding your action. So yeah. everyone make your attacks. Yes. I Here's my question. Yes. Because I want to be honest, and I don't remember if I said I dipped arrows in the second holy oil flask or if I put them on Trinket's claws. Do we remember? You put it, You did it all arrows. All, all arrows. arrows. That's, that's fine. Then I'm going to shoot two more holy arrows at him. Okay. Okay, well, I'll just roll for that. With advantage. With advantage, which is good. I'm gonna good, switch yeah. things. Those. New yes. ones. Re oh. <gasps> what just happened? Well, one of those was a 14, so that hit. It was 14 and 8. 14 <sighs> plus your attack. The second roll, she got a 1 and a 2, so. Seriously? Look at those rolls. So, so one two, was a I'm not 25, it. and then. 14, and the other, 14. okay, and then and 17. 17 misses. I mean, 19, 19. 19. 19 and a 25. What's the 19 from? It was the first roll and the second. Right, so you rolled a one and a two on the. No, that was the second roll. The first was oh, an eight, I see. 14 plus our modifiers. Oh, oh, see, I was rolling. Oh, I, I understand. I was I was rolling it in my head differently, but we we counted as that. Mop. I was counting it as those are my first Mop. attempts at my first two attacks and my second attempts at my set at my. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. No. Okay, that's fine. No. So the f 25. Okay, so one of them hit. Great. All right, so you awesome. go ahead and That's good. That. I won't roll like that anymore. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? That's radiant damage. And that's the act. You got it. Here we go. All right. So, All right. 12, 14, oh, jeez, we got a smoke demon, don't you know? <laughs> 17. 17 plus 5 is 24, 24 points. 24 points of damage. <laughs> so one of them uh, flies forward and misses. 22. Kind of, 22. Yeah, nearly grazes the top of your head, just swoop, finishing. <laughs> You don't notice because you're currently <laughs> right in his face. The second one manages to strike it and splinter inside of his torso, and you can see a flash of energy from the impact. And 
as it kind of surveys the area around it. The smoke around it gets even more and more intense, and you can see it flaring Still up. Still against the wall, like, um, glowing. Yeah, so the smoke actually gets thicker and obscures it even further. Oh, shit. All right. We should probably light up this area as much as possible, FYI. And Grog. I'm gonna load it up with my flaming warhammer. I turn and I swing at it. Okay. Metal. Uh, oh, advantage. Hey, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, 28. 28 hits. Second attack. 26. 26. Oh, it's still covered with the holy oil. Yes. So an extra 1d4 damage when you strike. 21 for the first one. Okay. With the radiant, fiery damage. <laughs> <laughs> Burning holy wrath. Yeah, 19, 20, 21, 22. Alrighty. Uh, both hammer blows to strike it, kind of battering the smoke around. And you can see, as this hammer swings through its body, the smoke almost swallows the light, and for a second, uh, it, it's almost like this, this dull little orb of darkness beneath the surface of a deep lake. And then as the hammer merges its body, the light flares up again. It's almost like it's swallowing the light as you strike it. Um, but it, but it seems to be taking the impacts pretty hard. Um, all right, that ends your turn. Now, Orthax can take his oh, turn. No. Orthax. All right. So. Let's Wait, see. do I get do I get my? Oh yeah, she was holding. That's oh, why you're holding too. Yeah, you can do it too. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yay, Mike! Yay, yay, yay. Okay, I'm gonna guiding bolt it. All right, go for it. <laughs> Your punishment will be more severe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 46. What level of guiding bolt are you doing? <laughs> Say one more time. What level of guiding bolt are you casting? You just need a coffee cup. Um, again, I'm going to do it at fourth because I have a few, couple fourth level left. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be. <laughs> so roll to attack first. Okay. Um, you have advantage on the attack roll because it's currently inside fairy fire, so. Take the higher of the two rolls. I would just like to say that Pike is very eerie yet beautiful in this iridescent glow of astral projection. <laughs> it's hard yes. to hear her sometimes, but god damn it, she makes it look good. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I rolled a one and a natural 20. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, so at fourth level, that would be 7d6 radiant damage. Woo! Is that, is that double? Wait, what did you cast? Go ahead and roll that. Guiding bolt. Oh, fuck yeah! Sorry, Orthax. 7d6? Yeah. That's, That's a lot amazing. of d6. Times two? Is it times two after that? Because it's a crit? It's crit. Oh, oh right, because that's well, straight dice rolls. Or does she roll? Uh. Or does she roll? Dice twice. No, uh, for, 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 the, for the purpose of, of ease, I usually double. I'm just confirming one thing real fast. She's just blinded us all in holy light, is what I'm assuming. Yeah, so go ahead and do, do your math. Oh. Little holy nuke. <laughs> That's my pike. Okay. <laughs> Little. Yellow. What was it? What different. was it, Pike? 21. 21! 21, all right. Times two? Yep, so that'd be times two. Just confirming, it's been a while since we've had any sort of spell-based crit. So, that'd be 42 points of radiant damage. Oh! Blasting it with this, as, as you release this, this bolt of, of energy to your hand, you see it charges up and feels your hand shaking as you're waiting for the moment where it might be too much to control, and your holy symbol flares as it releases and streaks forward um, right behind you. And this is, uh, yeah, I mean, hmm. You were technically in melee with it, which would have given you disadvantage on the attack, but he also has your advantage on him because of that, and we'll say it's fine. It stays there because there are a lot of things giving him give advantage against him and then disadvantage. So yeah, we'll stay with it. Okay. Anyway, as you turn around, you release it. Point blank, it slams into the front. You can see where the smoke was swelling around it. It almost seems to be scattered away from the impact of this radiant bolt. And for a second, this this image of this kind of obscured shadow humanoid becomes very clear for a second. You can see this extremely muscular humanoid torso with elongated, exaggerated arms and fingers, uh, seemingly uh, featureless across its body other than its black obsidian torso. No legs, they just sort of disappear into the smoke beneath it. Its head has the the long, hooked, uh, you know, bird-like skull beak and where the eyes are, 
It's just this smooth, almost uh, leathery texture across the, the dark body itself. Um, you can see what looks like faint horns that kind of curve around the back, that curl upward, and as it takes the impact, its head rolls back and you hear this billowing scream, this As it leans back forward towards you, it, it looks like it's having a rough moment. Um, now we get to its turn. Oh no. Uh-oh. And we're all left out. Um, all right. It, hmm. It farts a little cloud of smoke. You're all right. A lot of us are the very far. Yeah, indeed. Well, he gets Based on that, it just zeros down on the little ball of radiant energy staring before it that just <gasps> no! blasted a hole in its form. It's going to go ahead and take all three of its strikes at you, Pike. <gasps> no! A disadvantage on its, on its attack. And has advantage because she's in fairy fire, so it cancels it to cancels just a natural that. attack. Yeah. That is... All right, all right. Uh, that's, that's 21. What's your AC? 20. 20, so that hits. Damn, your AC's high. Uh, 27. That's why I'm so loud and Natural stealth. one. <laughs> nice. oh! It was like 19, one. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be 14 points of psychic damage. Oh no, I'm sorry, because he, he had uh, because of the roll there. Sorry, that was 14 plus an additional 12. So that's 16 for the first strike. Uh, that's 12. That's 12. Yeah. That's, 12. Yeah. that's 20. Right, it was 12 on top of the. Uh, there's my mouth. I say it was a 16. 14. 14, and then 12. 14, 12. So you have 26 damage. 26 second damage you took on the first strike. And the second one was 17. 21. Wait, so. The second one, I thought the second one failed. The third one has three attacks. Three attacks. Oh, three attacks. And it's three. Yeah. Okay, wait. So what was it? So what was the total? Sorry. Uh, be twenty-six 47. and twenty-one. So yeah, forty-seven points of psychic damage as its arm reaches out towards you, um, and strikes. Uh, also, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. With advantage. With advantage. Thanks. And okay. with beauty. Grace. Dignity. Skype. <laughs> Skype. <laughs> Skype. Aperture. <laughs> I'm doing your hunter's mark okay. damage, right, Laura? Okay, 20. Huh? Doing your hunter's mark damage? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. So what was that? 20. 20. 20? Yeah, you, you feel as, as its claws kind of move through your body, uh, elements of its shadow uh, essence kind of reach up and try and grasp an element of your, your will power. You just shrug it off. The might of Saren Ray is too strong, and it has no way of grasping your intent. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, get out of here! <laughs> um, unfortunately, that used all of its movement. It cannot withdraw into the room. That'll be the end of its turn. Uh, see if that recharges. Oh, it does. Okay. Um, that brings us to Grog. It does? Yep, you're back up to your turn now. Uh, ah, I want to hit it again! Go for it. Reach. Do I have advantage? Yes. Very far. <laughs> That's better. 24. Okay. The that second hits. one is. Uh, 21. Hits. Nice. Just barely. Uh, first one's 15. Okay. No, that's the wrong dice. Uh, 18. 18, okay. You hit it to the side of its body, and you can see now it's there's a little bit of small cracks in its black form are starting to form, and you can see a bit of that purplish energy leaking out. It's starting to actually visibly show a difficulty in keeping its corporeal form. Um, so as both blows slam into it, you can see it kind of shaking, and, and there is a struggle to its with its movement. Uh, do you want to stay where you are? You want to move? Uh, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Uh, Keyleth. Uh, I'm going to, he's totally surrounded, pretty much, right? Uh, essentially. Yeah. I'm actually gonna throw up, I'm gonna maintain my fairy I'm fire. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, because, It glows. It glows, purple. Um, I hold her hair back. <laughs> <laughs> and just say, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how tall is the ceiling? <laughs> 12 feet. Uh, it's 12 feet. about 12 feet, yeah. 
I'm gonna take a daylight beam and go bing right over top of it like a nice pretty spotlight. Okay. Ah. Nice. All right, so uh, which that is a concentration spell. It's not actually. Oh, it's daylight. an action that lasts for an hour. Interesting. Bam! I don't know who that was. Snap it away, bro. All right. I looked Snap it up away. just right. now. So, <laughs> as I was curious. This 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 little spark ball of daylight opens up on the ceiling like a, like a bright spotlight that fills the area. As it does, you can see the creature <laughs> shrinks away from it and its its smoke actually dissipates, lowering its armor class again. <laughs> well, that's a good move. <laughs> All right. Any you say where you are? You want to move? I'll just take, uh, take another step back. Okay. Boop. That's good. All right, with that, okay. Um, there's a momentary whisper in the shadow around you. More whispers. And the sound of chains. Uh, I want you to go ahead, everyone to make a, a perception check. What? Sound of what? Damn! So close. Just 26. 26. 19. 20. 20. 20. 17. 16. Pike. 17. Okay. So, all of you just continue focusing. Oh, whispers, oh, whispers, wow. and whispers. whispers. We're back. It's like I we're back so in the cast of the willing land. Whispers are so exciting. I miss them. I, I miss them. I really did miss the whispers. I hadn't even realized how much I missed About them until today. Like, I mean, Ashley, like Matt is whispering in Talison's ear, just so you know. Sweet nothings. <laughs> really? He's yep. licking his ear a lot. Is Fuck, he hearing really? a whip, Billy? Yes. Really, really. All right. Uh, Pike, you're up. What's your turn? Oh, uh, okay. Um, I, I, I'll, I'm going to guiding bolt it again. Okay. Same deal? Work? Can't tell you yet. It's not my turn. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make your uh, your single attack roll. Right now, because the previous things. Ah, ten. Okay, so yeah, this time it's it's ready for you, and it <laughs> dodges out of the way. The blast <laughs> hits the the stone wall behind it and cracks it slightly. Um, do you want to move or stay where you are? Yeah, I'll move away from it. Okay, we're gonna attack our opportunity uh, on you. Too late. Wait, hold on a minute. I should probably take a a potion or something. It's up to you. Are you low? I'm pretty low. Oh, Mike. Pike. Well, I could have done something Pike. about that. Pike, 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 Nope, Pike. nope, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna take a, a, uh, what do I have in here? Kreska? Just, it just says I have a healing potion. God, I don't know what that means. It means the lowest. Oh, that'd be the lowest. So that's, that's 2d4 plus two. Okay. Didn't you get healed from your own healing? Nope. Uh, well, I just, I don't have enough, I, I don't think I have enough left. I wanna save them. Yeah. Okay. Two. Six. Okay, eight. Okay, so you heal eight, and you, did you want to move back or stay where you are? She dies. Uh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll stay. Okay, so you stay where you are. Uh, all right. Uh, Cassandra keeps running up this way and uh, halts for a second. Wait, who's that? Who's going? That's oh, that's Cassandra. Cassandra. Yeah, she just keeps running. We're okay with her running uh, away. She's running away. Ooh, Cassandra. Maybe sent her running away. Kill her. Uh, top her is Vex. You're up. Me. Yes. Um. Okay. I'm going to. That. How many? Who all's around him? Pike and Grog. Pike and Grog, and technically Trinket as well, are all in melee. Trinket. All right, then I'm just gonna shoot a couple arrows at him again, man. Okay. I just can't. I can't do anything. But he's still advantage, right? Uh. Yes. Advantage against him. Yes. <sighs> so. Uh, 21. 21 hits. And 28. Both hit. Good roll damage. Okay. Right. These will be your last holy arrows because you've used six. Oh, no, no, no. I, um, I'm out of holy arrows. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, that's right. Because one of them was my battle. exploding arrow. That's and right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So these are regular. Um, so that's 13, 15. Uh, 21 for the first. Nice, all right. Shit balls. Well, oh, there dear. you go. Forget Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> trip. It was a 20. No. Uh, 21 for the second. Nice. 42 points of damage this round. 
Uh, these arrows now find their way towards the cracks that are starting to appear in its chest. And as each one strikes in, <laughs> these arrows are actually visibly staying in its body, you can see now. What was once this kind of amorphous smoke after the impacts from Grog, and as it begins to wear itself down, it's starting to find it harder and harder to keep this kind of ethereal form. So now these arrows are sticking out of these cracks of purplish glowing energy, and it's moving a little more sluggishly. I hide again for my bonus, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to make a stealth check. Um, <laughs> Scanlon, you're up. <laughs> Scanlon's up. 21, stealth. <laughs> Good enough. All right. Do I have my wits about me? You do. Oh, that's, that's nice. Thank you. Uh, as you, my... just, you just feel like there's an aspect, uh, you get the sense you probably don't want to be close to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I charge at it. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scaling I know and love. So that's always worked right. out so Bye. well. <laughs> I have so little that I Suddenly, there's a stained glass wall behind me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, in joke. As my bonus action, uh, I will, uh, 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 as my movement, I <sighs> tragically flip the gun to Percy. Okay. The two pieces? No, no the, one, the, the other good gun, gun that I gave to him. In the, like, like uh, what was that Martin Lawrence movie, Bad Boys? They're all in slow motion, just like throw the gun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, as a bonus action, I will heal Healing Word Pike. Okay. Did she heal herself okay? No, not, she didn't. Man. Okay, I will About Healing much. Word her and I'll, I'll say, Believe it or not, <coughs> you're made mostly of air. I never <laughs> thought you could feel so free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what level are you using healing water? Just oh, at one. Level one? Okay. So D4 one. Four plus five. Yeah. Twenty-four plus five. Eight. Eight, Eight honey, I love you. Hey, I, I blow him. I blow him a small kiss. Oh! Oh! I, just stare until you say <laughs> I love it. Um, and then for my move, my action, my whatever you call it. Hi. I got fucking nothing, man. I say to uh, to the beast, to the whatever it is, I say. And another thing! <laughs> Your smoking encourages miners to smoke <laughs> and creates a, an aura that is, it, it makes going to restaurants not pleasant. <laughs> and it's just, it's just horrible, it makes your clothes stink, it's terrible. So another vicious mocker. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. Please let him one. die from this. <laughs> this is the best please let ever. this be what kills him. <laughs> please, he's laughing like it is. Wouldn't that be like yeah. the third time this has happened? Yeah. Yes. All right, uh, roll damage. Oh. 2d4 oh. second damage. Come on, come on. Eight. Eight, all right. You can see now it's, it's, it, it turns to you for a second and the, the mark of vengeance fades. Oh! As suddenly you feel like you've damaged it mentally enough to the point where it doesn't even want to deal with you anymore. <laughs> You're far too mean. You're too oh. mean. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> you stay where you are? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that ends your turn. Percy, you're up. I yell, Delilah's getting away! Wait, that's Delilah? You guys all glance over the mat, the, the shackles that are on the ground are now collapsed and empty. <gasps> oh, shit! Um, with the gag safely removed from her mouth during this allowed her to cast Misty Step, which is just a verbal based spell. Um, she is currently. How far away? I'm gonna. I'm calculating that right now. And can I see her? Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you so a roll perception out. check here in a minute. Okay. Oh um, my god. And the question is. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm kind of curious okay. how far she got. So this is just what she's. She's. Rainbinder. There we go. So. Because we're morons. Oh, she got out of her manacles. She misty steps. So so she's there. Like uh, she yep, so. landed cast invisibility and vanished, and you just hear the footsteps down the hall. You're not quite sure where she is or how far she's gotten, but you know she's kind of down that way. <gasps> Cassandra! Cassandra's right there. Yeah. Cassandra, Cassandra doesn't notice. She's just been running as you told her to run. Is Cassandra still but, on but the But she heard you range? shout, and she, okay, she did, she did hear you shout, and she looked over her shoulder, she, but not in time for her to see anything happen, because this all happened during the last round, just during your realization. Good. So you guys just see her, you just look around and Delilah's gone. You're the only one who really saw the direction she's going. But it's your turn. <sighs> Son of a bitch, we left her alive. I cannot believe we left her alive. I'm sure it'll be fine. She's... <laughs> I'm fucking pissed. She's... I'm... Maybe she's learned the error of her ways. 
Mm-hmm. I'm afraid of some sort of doing? fail save she's got. Fuck! Ah, okay, um, I'm going to... Chase her? Tell us where she is. I'm going to... Stammer. Double, I'm, fuck, ah, oh, goddammit, I'm gonna double, double my speed, I'm gonna burn my turn double speeding, trying to, just, trying to... Trying to catch up? Trying to catch up. Okay. And then as I pass my sister, I yell, she went this way. Okay. She's invisible. Do I hear All that? Alright, so you get up. She went this way, she's invisible! I hear it. We hear it! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's Percy's turn. Uh, go I'm to... so sorry, everybody. For, for the situation, you go make a perception check. Alright. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Natural 20. The, no. no. Okay. You have to. You have to. You're not having advantage of this. I'm adding my bonus die. Oh, uh, you have inspiration. Yeah, I am using my inspiration die. Uh, 15, 16, 17. Uh, 23. 23, okay. I mean, you, you, you see a couple of recent footsteps, but you don't see them freshly being made. So you know she's not too far I'm gonna yet. follow that path of, of, of footsteps. Okay. They're, they're, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on them. Okay, good to know. Uh, Vax, you're up. All right, I'm going to use my bonus action and dash and run 60 feet after Percy to catch up. Am I going to kill the smoke beast? You're going to kill the smoke beast. Okay. So okay, so use your there. bonus dash, your movement to get there. Yeah. So you move up 60. So yeah. that's 60 feet from where I was? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to throw a dagger after. Well, can I do perception check and that, or is that two different things? Uh, well, honestly, if you, once the creature is invisible and you don't know where it was, you don't even really get a chance to check at this distance. So it's just rolling. It's attack with disadvantage. All right, I'm gonna attack at disadvantage. Then. All right. Mm, that is uh, fourteen. Fourteen is a miss. <laughs> Returns to your belt. Okay. Finds no purchase. Finds that no. Was 18. That was eighteen. <laughs> you rolled eighteen. That was an eighteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, seven, plus seven plus eleven is, is indeed eighteen. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> oh. See? Thanks, thanks, sis. No problem. This is why I look over your shoulder even when my math is bad. Uh, okay. That is uh, eight. Eight. Okay. <gasps> but she was um, almost unconscious. She'll leave it to So at at this point, as as you're running, you're rushing forward to the left of your ear. You hear a. Poof. Oh, she fell. And you glance over your shoulder, and there, face down on the ground, is Delilah, sprawled out, face down in the dirt, with a single dagger sticking out of the center of her back. Oh. For a second. And then it's gone. <laughs> and blood begins to <laughs> out from the wound. She's dead. You killed her. All right. Is that, is she, is she dead? You'd have to go and inspect. Um, now it is Orthax's turn. Orthax uh, is going to move here, still remain in melee, and is going to use a secondary Rampage Pulse since it recharges. Gives out another desperate scream. <laughs> Outwards in the vicinity. Uh, 20 foot radius, I need Keyleth, Vex, Trinket, <coughs> Pike, and Grog to all make wisdom saving throws with advantage. Twelve. Twenty-five total. Oh, twenty-five Ooh, wow. total. Yeah. Twelve. Why are you wise? Twelve. I'm very wise. Wait, wait. Why is this perk? Why Nineteen for me. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, he did get. Twenty-two. Ooh. Thirteen for trinket. Okay. So, uh, so Vex, Not Vex, Keyleth, and Pike, you guys all take five points of psychic damage, as you kind of cover your ears momentarily. Um, Rog and Trinket both take 10 points of psychic damage. Both turn immediately flanking Pike, oh, who has no. been the radiant blaster across this entity. I need you to go ahead and make an attack, and I need Trinket to go ahead and make an attack against Pike. You guys both have advantage because she's in the fairy fire. Oh, uh, damn it. Fairy yes! Fairy. Three and a four. Uh, 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 who, 13. Who? 13, okay. Is Vex? It rolled a natural 20. <laughs> no! All right, so so Pike, this, this, this blast comes out ringing in your ears, and as you, your vision comes back to you and you look up, all you see is Grog lifting this giant hammer with his eyes kind of clouded in the same black smoke material. 
you bring up your shield, and as the hammer comes down, striking it, you know there's a bruise going to be on your forearm tomorrow because the sheer force of it hits you. But at the same time, you know it's not the friend you grew up with. And you look Whoa! up, and you look up into his face as the cloud fades, and you can see an expression of immediate regret on his on his face. What, what I do? Before you can respond, though, the bear behind you trinket snarls and latches in. Go ahead and roll damage. Do you want a, a bite attack or a claw attack? I'm gonna have to probably go bite on this. Oh, no. <laughs> so roll the dice, and then that times two. Oh, right, I have to, no, yeah, okay. That's 11. So you take 11 points of piercing damage, as all of a sudden Trinket okay, okay. sinks his jaws into the back of your shoulder. You times feel... two, it times two. That oh. 20. Oh, that wasn't with the multiplier. What did you roll on the dice? It's dice rolled, times no, two. No, I rolled 11. With on the dice, the 22 plus problem. whatever the modifier is. What? No, no, I mean, I rolled. Oh, no, that's no. It's eight plus the modifier. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay so yeah, yeah. Six, 15. So 16 plus whatever the modifier is. Just 19, then. No, I, that's rolled, I rolled four times that's two is eight. eight. Got you. Plus I the see. Modifier of seven. seven is 15. 15. There we go. Thank you so much for the clarification. Hey, no problem. 15 points of piercing <laughs> damage. <laughs> math, everybody. You just got balls. Math. Uh, and Trinket clenches down, you feel the armor plates kind of jamming together and it kind of wrenches your shoulder out of the socket. Not enough to actually, you know, do too much serious damage. And then immediately Trinket pulls away and you hear this whine behind you, this oh, no. And the nose kind of rubs so against bad, your head. I, I put my hand out and touch his nose and tell him it's okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Orthax is, uh, is in a point where now Orthax is going to try. Orthax is going to turn and begin to chase after Percy now. And you guys... Uh, attack of opportunity. Yes, I know. Grog and Pike and Trinket all get attacks of opportunity. Kill him. Kill him. With advantage. Trinket's pissed. Uh, with advantage, yeah, because he's... In... Natural 20. Oh! oh! First roll. Don't even need to do it again. How do you want? Nat 20 is all up in okay, this so... bitch. 24. Okay, and Pike? 16. 16 does not hit, unfortunately. So Pike, you swing loud, still from the pain of, of, of Trinket's attack, and you know, Grog coming at you, you swing wide, and it just passes uh, through the space behind it. Grog, Ooh. roll. remember, roll with additional d12, too, yeah. because you're brutal critical. Kill him. Brutal critical? So, 13 for, yeah, so, for Trinket. 13 for Trinket, awesome. 22, 22. 31 total. 31 total? How do you and Trinket want to do this? Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wait, okay, did you kill him? Yeah! Oh, yes! Yeah. I, I like to pick up the hammer action. and slam him down to the ground just so he's at Trinket's head height. And, and then, then right when he gets to his height, Trinket reaches up and bites him as hard as he can and lashes him around like a dog with a toy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you slam it on the ground, the smoke <laughs> billows out around it. And dissipates for a moment, where as opposed to its obscured form, you now have a very clear view of its physical body. Just a little bit of smoke trailing about where its lower torso and legs would be, as it kind of its arms reach out, <laughs> and it looks up. Its head shaking as the the purple cracks are rising up its its body. It looks up straight into the face of Trinket, who snarls <laughs> and just lunges out, clamping onto its face and tearing upward, a tail arcing in the air. As it does, the body dissipates into smoke, and sinks into the ground into this black shadow in the dirt that races up the hallway in the direction of Percy. Percy, oh. as you stop and looking over, you look down just in time for the shadow to kind of reach your your uh, your legs and you feel this cold rise up your body and then slowly dissipate into this little nugget of cold in the center of your chest and then vanish. Wait, but doesn't he have protection? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He disappears, it disappeared. Maybe it disappeared forever. Or maybe it's always going to be there, haunting us. While he's thinking, I walk up to Delilah. Wait. Grab her wait. by the clothes. No, wait. Drag her to the side of the wall. And wait. Prop her up and turn to Percy and say, In this. Cassandra? Uh, Cassandra, who's now stopped and looks at you, kind of. <gasps> She clutches the rapier in her hand, and you can see her hand shaking, just the tension of the muscles in her fingers, clenching it as hard as she possibly can, as she walks up with each slow, quiet step echoing across the stone. Delilah up against the wall, like blood spilling out the corner of her mouth, 
coughing, conscious with her one, you know, missing arm on the side. The blood's beginning to ooze now from the wound as just the sheer force of all the movement has torn the wounds fresh open and she's there and she looks over in the corner of her eye and turns, seeing the rest of you and sees Cassandra. Mrs. Hunter steps up, she holds the rapier at her side, staring down, this time just a single tear crescent down the side of her cheek. Dyla looks up and goes, You could have been my daughter. She looks down at Delilah and says, No. Cassandra has a Dorolo. And you took them away from me. And now we're taking everything away from you. <laughs> and just thrust the rapier forward right into the chest. As it hits her, it actually pulls her up about a foot against the wall. The sheer force of the wound. Sick. Last breath escaping from Delilah's mouth, her hand, her arm falls limp to the side. A moment of tension passes, and Cassandra's is still holding her there, her head down, her hair in front of her face, just shaking, keeping her pinned against the wall. I put my hand on her shoulder and gently pull her back. Rapier withdraws, and the body just tumbles to the ground. She looks back at you, face just a mess. Thank you. We have a lot to do. We do. And she hands the rapier back to you, and she grabs the scruff of Delilah's collar and begins dragging her up the hallway towards the castle. Wait, I meant to loot her earlier, and it didn't happen. Sorry, I just, I really like that. She drops the body and gives you a look. Hurry. There's one thing I've learned here in Whitestone, is that things do not stay dead long. That's a point. Seeing as I'm 50 feet ahead of my sister, I don't, walk ahead don't of her. Don't you fucking do this. Down <laughs> do not check. you do this. Is she wearing sure a cloak? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Inspecting the body, yeah. you find <laughs> uh, you find a, a very fine pair of metallic bracers. Yes. Um, For archery purposes? You're not here. <laughs> I'm like five you're, feet away you're from way you at this behind point. me. Her robe, though soaked with blood, is very, very well made. I roll that up. Okay, so roll up the robe. Um, her cloak is. No, that's what I meant. The cloak. I leave the robe. Yeah. Now take everything. Okay, leave the robe. Take everything. Yeah, roll it. And, and all the fabric. I take. Okay, so take all the fabric. The, the robe and the cloak. So Mark, so, so Mark goes down. The, <laughs> the cloak in itself. Uh, it, it looked like cloth at a distance. Close up, you can see it's actually like a very fine, dark black purple fur. And down at the side of it, you see dangling these two, um, almost like long tentacles that end in these little cupping, uh, spiked elements. It it's, it's, looks like it was carved from a creature at one point. This is the cloak. The cloak. Can I do a nature check to see? Go for it. Because <laughs> I think I know what it is. Looking at it, That's... I get up in time to smack yeah. it outside the head. Uh, yeah, twenty nine. Yeah, you've actually uh, you fought these creatures before. This is a displacer beast. beast. This yeah. is a of display. I got the cloak and I just walk away from it and leave my sister to go sick onto the rest of it. Okay. Okay. They're now there on the ground lies so a, a. She's like naked. Yeah, she's Good job, she's pretty brother. much she's mostly nude other than her undergarments. I toss the robe back. Oh, Cassandra. Okay. Let's take her to the acid pits. Oh. Uh, the only thing she has left is a ring on her finger. What about those bracers? You Bring on her 